How do... Uh, so do cows all the way out to Jed? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, Slayer Boss tier list. How do we start this? Welcome. What the fuck is that shit? There's fucking spiders all over this damn country. Alright, do I use OBS for streaming? I use Streamlabs OBS, not OBS itself, no. Am I killing everything on the list? I'll, I'll explain it when I fucking get there. Okay. Welcome to the Slayer Monster tier list. How do I... I don't know. We've got a bunch of... You could see there's a lot of fucking monsters here. But there's also another row of monsters here. Which are more Slayer Monsters. They just couldn't fit. So we'll have to uh, go through them after. We've got a lot to discuss here. What we're going off of... We're not going off of superior variants. Uh, we will be judging these monsters based on them alone. So when I'm killing um, blue dragons, I'm not counting Vorkarf. It's straight up blue dragon slayer task if you're killing blue dragons. Jay, shut your fucking cunt hole. Um, standard, S tiers, godlike, F tier, Spark Mac. There's really no other way to put it. And uh, yeah, that pretty much sums up what we're going to be discussing today. If you don't know what to block or you don't really know what's going on with slayer, this is the stream for you, and we'll obviously be making it into a video after, so please sit back and enjoy. And also, if you are watching this in a video after, I'll do a bit at the end where I'll basically just run through quickly of what the fuck is going where, so that way you're not uh, sitting through two hours of content, you can skip to the, the end, which I'll put in the description or whatever, and uh, you can just quickly see uh, where everything is instead of watching the content. Because you're probably just some lazy cunt, let's be honest. All right. Does anyone want to start? Does anyone want to choose a monster to start with? This is my opinion, not yours, alright? I don't give a fuck what the chat thinks. I'm the fucking king, alright? I'll tell you what goes on. Alright. First person in the chat tell me what to start with, we start with. We can nut simp for sure. Bloodveld? Alright, Bloodveld it is. Sorry, McLovin. Gonad's got to you first. All of this is F tier only. Only good Slayer tiles are Dagonoffs and Cannoning. Yeah, well, Scott, you're a retard, so... It's a good thing it's not your tier list, eh? Bloodveld first. Look at these balls. Should we zoom in a bit more? I can just scroll across. That's probably a bit easier. What the fuck? Yeah, whatever, can. A little bit more. A little bit more. Is that too much now? Yeah, that's way too much. Let me sort my shit out. I can't remember how to zoom out with scrolling, but something like that. Alright, this is a bit better. Now I can do that. Yeah? And I've got the bars down the bottom. Bloodveld! Your boy. Um, we're not going off superior variants, like I said, so we've just got these big, fat, thick boys. They're basically just walking flashlights. Um, I don't care how thick they are, that doesn't make them any better than absolute fucking horse shit. Um, in terms of XP, they're actually not too bad when it comes to Slayer experience, but uh, I will skip Blood Veils any chance I get because they're fucking hideous. They're annoying, that, they're that magic melee bracket, which is really fucking cunty, that no one gives a fuck about. Um, they don't make a lot of sense, and if, if you do them in the catacombs, which you should be mo doing most of your Slayer in the catacombs anyway, they're even fucking worse there, so... Um, the only good thing about them is the Slayer variant, but uh, the Superior variant, but we're not judging them off that at all, so we're going to put these boys at D tier, because I wouldn't block them. I wouldn't block the Bloodveld, alright? We're going to need a lot more space. I wouldn't block the Bloodveld, and I would do it, if I was on my last 30 points, I wouldn't, I wouldn't skip it, okay? That's the, that's the point I'm making here. I would rather do Blood Velds than gamble and get something worse, okay? That's, that's my point I'm trying to make there. You can only block, what, five tasks or some shit? So, I think D tier is acceptable for Blood Veld. If I had the points, I'll skip it every fucking day. But if I'm running low on points, I will not skip it. So Blood Veld's sitting at D tier. Next I saw is Crawling Hands. Alright, you're only killing these if you're a low level Slayer. Uh, slayer person. Low level Slayer. Low, low level player even actually. Crawling hands, it's a quick task, it's easy. If I get given a crawling hand task, you goddamn right I'm gonna go smash that shit out. Easy rings, um, they're, they're not very difficult, they're not very high level. It's good quick slayer points if you're low level and you wanna get it. Well, yes. I think crawling hands are a good slayer task to get. I'm gonna put them in the C tier because um, that's they're only good for points, for quick points, that's about it, okay? 
The loot isn't fabulous, but if you're low level, you're probably doing Crawling Hands. And honestly, I don't know, you can't get the Crawling Hand pet, can you? Is that a RuneScape 3 thing? It'd be fucking sick if you could. Imagine a non-play body member piping up. Yeah, fucking, that's Scott talking shit, eh? Fuck that guy. Cobra, how you doing, man? Do your quest and get those mutations. What quest for the mutation mutations? Can you just walk into the fucking catacombs? Free? DTF dirty tongue on the blood belt. Yeah, pretty much. It's uh It's sitting in a certain bracket that I think we can sit with, that we're all happy with. It is RS3? Alrighty. <clears throat> Hands remind me of my touchy uncle, Will McLovin. That probably sounds like a personal issue you need to take up with your parents. Or maybe even your local school principal. I'm sure they can sort that out. I can be your uncle, but I definitely can't sort them out. Um, what, someone wants me to do spiritual creatures? Well, I've got three different kinds here. We've got rangers, mages, and warriors. Because they're all, they're, they're all spiritual creatures, but they're all different. There's different ratings for each one, alright? Because they're all unique. They all have different drops. We're going to start with the warriors. Let's get all three of these fucking cancer patients out of the way. Alright. Spiritual creatures. As the Melia. If it was between Melia, Mage, and Ranger, rather than just spiritual creatures, and you could block individually, you would block melee. 100%. There's no discussion. They have no good drops. They're in the most fuck-ass place ever to do PVM. Whether it's the Wilderness or God Wars, they are fucking horseshit to kill. They are way too strong for what they're worth. They're, they're, they're cancer. Okay? Spiritual creatures, when it comes to melees, are shit. If you can't kill any other spiritual creatures but the melees, block that fucking task. Which moves us on to the range and the major. Now the ranger... Funnily enough, is actually sitting in the same bracket as the Melia because it is, once again, high level for dog shit content. Okay? You don't do spiritual creatures when you can't do the mages. If you can just do rangers and Melias, you fucking, you block that shit. You don't do that. Now, if you've got the major, you also put it in the F list because it's also fucking horse shit. Oh, but they dropped dragon boots. Well, fuck your dragon boots, alright? You don't need to do these. If you want dragon boots, go to the fucking ground exchange, waste your money on content that's not fucking worth it. Alright? All spiritual creatures, we're going to stack them up here so they don't take too much space. All spiritual creatures are horse shit. You block these tasks, you don't do them for Slayer. There's no argument to be had here. They are fucked. Alright, you block that shit. You were standing at Durador, Durador ready to skip? Yeah, good block, Smile. It's good. You'll never get that crap again. Spiritual creatures as a whole are a terrible fucking Slayer task. You cannot change my mind. And I'm sure you all agree. If you're doing spiritual creatures for Slayer, you're fucked. Dragon Boots can suck your mole slips, exactly right. And even then, if you really wanted them, you just go to the Wilderness God Wars dungeon and you hit the spiritual mage every so often when you're trying to farm ecumenical keys, whatever they're fucking called. What about poor Iron Man? You wear mole slippers. Have you not learned anything, Vitor? For sure, Vitor? Or Ornalas? Whatever your fucking name is? Are you not? You're a fucking channel member, mate. You should know, mole slippers are better than any other boots in the game. There's no question, what about Dragon Boots on Iron Man? Fuck your Dragon Boots. My nan does spiritual creatures. Well, your nan's a fucking idiot. You want me to do jellies? I can do jellies. Let's do these jellies. These are the ones outside of the catacombs. Alright. Now, these are these are actually reasonably good to kill because the issue with these is that the tasks are big. And they're, once again, fucking annoying. Like Blood Veil. But they're not as, like, shit with the drops. Room full helmets are pretty cool and consistent. The clue scrolls are pretty good. They're hard clue scrolls, right? These are only medium. Hard clue scrolls are way better. And I, but the only thing is, jellies are at the back of that cave, but you need agility levels to get to. If you can't get to them through the agility shortcuts, I mean, you can walk around, but it's fucking cancer. Um, if you've got the agility levels, then you're good, but normally when you're killing these, you're sitting at the bracket where you don't have that agility level, so... Again, jellies, I'm not, I'm not blocking them ever. I wouldn't block jellies. Um, if I didn't know the catacombs existed, because for whatever reason, I'm a fucking idiot. Um, I don't think I would skip them, more or less. I would probably go kill them. I might make them C tier. I feel like I would kill Jellies more than I would kill Bloodveld if I had to choose between the two. They're pretty good. Going for 100 million casts, it's 22 at the moment. Fucking hell, Devlin. Good luck. I hope you get some good range boots out of it. Alrighty. You blocked them. They did nothing for you. Well, there's definitely better ones to block out there, Jamie, especially if you haven't done your quest points, but... We'll see. We'll find out when we go through the list. Maybe you'll learn a couple things. D tier, you reckon McLovin? Well, that's your tier list, not mine. Which means we'll go to the warped jellies. Okay, yeah, I think I agree. It might be these might be D tier because warped jellies um, are in the same boat, except they're easy to get to and you can burst them because it's multi combat. So I think these ones can go C 
Because this is the obvious choice of killing them. I have to, uh, have to think about that for a second there. So I think same exact same argument with the two jellies. These are C tier because you can burst them and get that shit over quicker, which means faster points. You can get the cancer out of the way a lot quicker, so you should be good. And they're magic melee, yeah, so they're never any fucking fun. Spent some jellies on your bathroom floor this morning. You're a fucking weird cunt, Owen. Who the hell assigns chickens? Fucking Turiel or whatever his name is. Turiel, yeah. Sides Burt's. Chickens, where are they? Chickens? Where the fuck are chickens? There's no chickens on here. I don't know what you're talking about, cunt. Oh, there is a chicken. Shit, he's a big boy too. Fucking hell, he's looking thick. Alright, yeah, chickens. Now... Be streaming the unboxing. I can uh, open up my um, PO box. I keep forgetting to do it when I drive past post post office. I can go open it up, and I can do unboxing streams. Why not? Um, so chickens are S tier immediate completion. Um, yes, but the only problem is you're really only doing them at a very low level. You can go back to tutorial just for quick. Um, it's not really quick points. But it is a quick task. So at really low levels, and especially on things like Trailblazer, it was really effective. Um, but again, it's fucking chickens, guys. Come on. You're not getting anything out of it. Um, but you definitely won't be... You, I mean, you wouldn't skip them, and you wouldn't block them. They're too easy to skip or block. So chickens are D tier. Okay? Regardless. Because you wouldn't skip... It's not block only, skip only. But there's worse, there's worse shit out there. Chickens... A very quick task. If you want to just quickly get your, if you want to go like, um, do nine quick Slayer tasks on Turiel, or Turiel, whatever his name is, to, to fuck with, and then you go to Duriel, or Duradel, sorry, and get your tenth task with him, you'll get the extra points. It can help you get there quicker if you get something like chickens. It's a strat, doesn't always work, but yeah. Where the hell is Jed? Jed's fucking dead. I fucking got him, cunt. Can we do evil chicken and on chicken tasks? Probably. I don't know why you would though, it sounds like a waste of fucking time. Alright, next cunt. Brian Rat. What is, what's your opinion on the Brian Rat, guys? I want to know how wrong you guys are. Brian Rat, personally, I have the Brian Rat blocked. That's because I can't be fucked with the Brian Rat. That's my personal opinion, which is why we're here. You can get Bird and General as a task. Yes, you can. Um, Brian Rat, I block because they're fucking useless. You can get the Brian Saber, which again means nothing. Um, I think there's worse to block though. I really shouldn't have it blocked. I just really don't want to deal with them. So I might, I might be better off putting them in E tier. I would definitely skip them. If I had them on my last 30 points, I'd definitely skip them. And if I get enough points, I might unblock them. I think Brian Rat E because there are worse things. They're very easy to kill. Very easy. You can get in and out, especially if you've done your diaries. You have easy access uh, to the Brian Rats. And the Brian Saber is a decent weapon, yeah, but no one fucking uses it. You know, no, no actual player fucking uses it. It is a quick skip. It's definitely a skippable. Um, I might stop. I might not. I might not keep him blocked though. I don't know. Good for hardcore. I mean, yeah. If, if you don't have the points, I'm not gonna fucking want to shoot myself trying to do the task. Put it that way. All right. Next, crocodiles. <laughs> this is a, this is a big boy. Look at him. He's fucking. He's a juicy boy. Now this guy's thick. Crocodiles are fun, all right? Not not in game, all right? As an Australian, all right? Crocodiles are um, a fucking cunt to kill here in RuneScape. Because, well, here's one thing. They're in the desert. That automatically makes them just fucked. The other issue with the crocodiles, I'm sure you're all aware is, that you never had crocodiles 83 slide. Yeah, you get them from uh, the bitch in Xanaris, I think. The issue with these guys um, is that they're not safe spotable. <laughs> Uh, as Jay made a very good point last night, is they're not safe spotable because they they hang around the water. You shoot them from one side of the river to the other. That's fine, but these fuckers just walk straight over the water. They don't give a damn. Okay, the laws of physics don't apply to crocodiles because they can walk on water and land. All right, the, this is the, this is one of the worst slay tasks you can ever get. While you're doing a slay master that can provide crocodiles, I highly suggest blocking. If you cannot block, skip at all costs. Crocodiles are shit. Okay, they're fucking horrible. So we're not, do we're not doing crocodiles. Crocodiles are F-tier tasks for life. Alright. Next. This fat cunt. Look at him. This is a juicy boy. Look how thick he is. 
Uh, this guy is swole as fuck. This is the Sour Hog. Um, this was added to the game recently just to, um, what, promote Slayer amongst low level players. There's another drop, and you get the little headband goggles with it. It's it's E tier because if you're doing that sort of uh, if you're doing that sort of Slayer level saying you get one of these, good fucking luck. They're fucking horseshit. As, as soon as you start doing any sort of high level Slayer, like for example level 40 combat, you're never gonna fucking hear of these things. So they're E tier because they're non-existent, they're useless, and I think Jagex was just trying to fill the void of like no quests or anything for a while. So they throw in some random fucking fat cunt pig and hope for the best. So fuck the Sour Hog. Big HP, XP, I guess. Yeah, but you're not doing them on a serious level. There's so many more effective ways to do it. It's a piece of shit. Piece of shit. What do you want next, guys? Chat, you pick something. Chat picks what they want. Never killed one outside of the quest. Yeah, no, fuck that. Flor Florida Floridians are stronger than Australians. This is an inarguable, an uh, inarguable fact. Sorry, Scott. Are you from Florida? We're starting to learn more and more about Scott, boys. He's definitely not uh, stronger than Australians, that's for sure. Scott's a bitch. Uh, first we got was Neck. Sorry, Wu. Uh, Wu got in there before you guys. Neck. So let's go Neck. Now, Necks make, make me want to Neck myself. These are the ones outside of the catacombs. That's why they're called Necks, okay? Look how fucking swallows. He's always spreading the fucking lats, juicy boy. Um, if you've got Necks and you're doing them in the Slayer Tower, they're an instant fucking E because they're just shit, okay? They're just shit. They're, they're no fun. The little bat cunts they spawn out of their asshole are just fucked. There's just absolutely no... There's no need to be doing these guys at all when you're at the Slayer Tower. It's pointless. That's the only place you can kill them, right? Barbarian music, Myth Dragons. Okay, I'll do Myth Dragons next. Alright, fine. The Iron Man content. Yes, but still in the Slayer Tower? No, I wouldn't do them as an Iron Man in the Slayer Tower. I think that's a fucking poor choice. If you... It, if you're brain dead and don't know about the catacombs, the normal necks are E tier. Now, although it's the same task, you got the, is it the greater neck rail? That's what these boys are? These boys, now, you guys know exactly how useful these cunts are for training mage. You sit there, you're bursting them, and then you don't have your out runes because you're on the wrong spell book, so you have to bring your fucking achievement diary ring, whatever is it, the lumbridge ring, but you're dog shit, so you haven't done past medium, so you've only got a few out charges at a low out. Uh, then you've got an ult sitting there trying to alk everything, so you swap them between different fucking, what are they called, rune light clients, and then you're just sitting there, you're, you're wasting time, you're sweating over fucking maybe, what, 120k, 30, 130k of loot an hour, uh, three alkables, but it's bursting XP, so it's actually pretty good. Let me just back that ass up, big boy. These are a lot better to kill. These are some B tier content, because it is good, it's good XP for both mage training, the Slayer, bursting them, it's good shit, but they're just fucking, they're bad in general, okay? They're good, they're great to do for training and AFK, but they're just bad in general, right? They're just fucking bad. Yeah, Remigo, they drop the same as these guys though, eh? Bursting is good in Catacombs, yeah, that's where the Catacombs are. You want me to do Dragons? I've got Barbarian Music, we'll do Mithril Dragons, where are they? Mithril Dragons are not on this list. Jay? Are they in the other list? I don't think Myth Dragon's on here, what the fuck? I've got every, every dragon except Bronze and Myth. Report Jay for that, guys. Uh, leave your comments on that in the comment section below. That's Jay's problem now, not mine. Um, however, we can go to Blue Dragons, because they're, they're the same color as Myth. And um, Now, Blue Dragons, we're not including Vorkarf, okay? This is, if Vorkarf didn't exist, or if you're like most of you likely are in the chat, fucking terrible at the game, you haven't done Dragon Slayer 2. You haven't unlocked Vorkov yet. So you've got Blue Dragons. It de this purely depends on your level. If you're mid-level, they're, they're a pretty good task. You get some good money out of them. The thing is, I found best when you're doing Blue Dragons with, um, like, just in Tavali Dungeon, for example. If you've got the agility level, it's fucking good shit. People save the bones and the hide take it to the bank. Waste of fucking time. Bury all the fucking bones you can, alright? Just take the hide back to the bank. You're not really doing yourself any favors saving that those dragon bones for, for the altar, because you're going to buy yourself fucking 75 prayer anyway, alright? You're saving yourself, what, less than 100k per fucking slayer task? Pointless. Bury your fucking dragon bones there, and the task can be a hell of a lot easier. 
That way you've only got to worry about hides and nature runes. Everything else they drop is fucking horse shit. It is Iron Man content, definitely. Um, which is, yeah, the mid-game mid Iron Man content is excellent. The, the higher, the further you get in the game, the more useless these cunts get. So you would want to, that's why I'm going to put them C tier. Because they are good until a certain extent. And when you're getting blue dragons, uh, the Miss Kate makes them so fast. Wait, you can do them at the Miss Guild, can't you? Maybe. I don't know about that. I'll just do Tavily Dungeon because I'm not bad and having an agility level. Blue dragons are boring, yeah. But you take a cannon there and you just crash everyone as well. That's the best part. Don't ever be afraid to crash people in RuneScape. I'll get into that another time. Crashing is good for the game. Now, C tier, not awful, not great. Yeah, it all depends on where you are in the game. I wouldn't skip them um, unless I was at the level I'm at now and I didn't know Warcraft existed. Now, cows. These are some juicy boys. Cows are, this, it's the same story as chickens. You know, you're doing them just to skip through tasks real quick. Don't bank any of their shit. It's all, it's the same meme as chickens. Right? We're going to stack them together just to save space because it's all in the same bracket. Cows and chickens, you're killing them. They're not S tier, guys. Shut the fuck up. Cows are not S tier. I don't care how funny it is for them to be S tier. B for beef. No, they're D for fucking, just because they're garbage, right? They're D for dicking around because you're there to literally get your, your nine fucking tasks and then you go to the big boy and get it done. They're not legendary. I don't care what you say, all right? They're not. They got beef, but you're not picking it up. You're not fucking cooking it, are you? All right? Cows are the same bracket as chicken. Your nan slays cows. What, your nan's doing fucking everything. She, what, she kills spiritual creatures as well? Is that the same nan? We need the cow champion scroll. There's no cow champion scroll. If there was, then they would probably be a bit higher. They're definitely not S tier. Okay. We'll grow up hitting cows for XP. Yeah, but you didn't grow up hitting them for fucking Slayer XP. Alright, so for Slayer, cows are not higher than D. And I'm putting my fucking foot down. The chat will not convince me. I'm not a bitch. I'm not giving in to the chat. That doesn't happen. Not over here. You're here to learn. You're not here to alter my opinion to your fucking Swedish ways. Shout out to all the Swedes in the chat. Just join Waz, Necreol, E. Yeah, because these are the Slayer Tower Necreol. These are the ones that are a steaming pile of shit. And these are the better Necreol. The greater ones. They're B tier. $5 for S tier. Cow S tier. There you go. Appreciate the five bucks. Easy peasy. That's how you make content, boys. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm looking at something here. What was I looking at? Someone wanted a certain... What did you want? Someone wanted a certain thing done before we started rambling about cows. Rune dragons. All right. There you go. Rune dragons. Um, okay. Rune dragons. Fuck. Appreciate the five bucks, mate. Cows gone straight down the D tier. Ultimate fucking scam. You just got fucking scammed, dude. Appreciate that. Thank you for the super sticker. Nah, I'm mad at my word. I have to stick at S tier now. I'm sorry, S for scammed. What the? <laughs> f um, Rune Dragon. All right. Sorry, I just had to let the fucking Sea Shanty Two start. All right. So Rune Dragons are the reason these are so good for Slayer. I know you'll sit there for fucking what twenty hours a week killing Rune Dragons. Get yourself the, all that money because it is fucking good gold farm. You're not here for the gold farm. You're here for the Slayer Task. Rune Dragons are definitely an A tier Slayer Task. Okay. Now you guys won't know this because, like I said before, you've not done Dragon Tear Slew, uh, Dragon Tear Slew, Autism, Dragon Slayer Two, uh, because you're all garbage at the game. But when you unlock Rune Dragons, they're bollocks. Well, they're also a Slayer Task. That's like what six to ten KC or something. You only you only have to do. Don't, don't lie to me, you don't have the quest cape, mate. You don't have to um, do many kills to get it done. You can get it all done in one trip in like fucking 20 minutes. So that's why they're such a good task. It's also good money for the small amount. You can sit there and go longer if you want to. But uh, Rune Dragon's A tier because, yeah, it's a very easy task, very easy points. I did have a stroke here, so I have astigmatism. Leave me alone. They are decent. They're easy to get to. They're good loot. And uh, they, yeah, they're very short tasks. So we'll bring, that brings us over to... Adamant Dragons. Who doesn't have a quest code nowadays? Even Marco has a quest code. No one knows who the fuck Marco is. I don't know who Marco is. Um, right. 
Adamant dragons are not as good as rune dragons because obviously you're, you're spending about the same amount of effort to kill these motherfuckers. And um, the loot's not as good and they're really more annoying with their spec. Uh, I would normally, to be honest, I would still kill adamant dragons, I wouldn't skip them. But they're not overly, like, worth my time. What's going on, Nathan? Good morning, Cameron. How you doing? I think Adam and Dragon might sit around C tier, to be honest. Because they're not the best. They're not the worst. They're, they're, they have got that really quick... If they, if they were a bigger task, if it was like a, a 100 kill plus task of Adam and Dragons, I would skip that shit every fucking day. But because it still only can be done in one run... That really does make them worth doing because it's just easy. You don't waste your points skipping, and you're normally getting a good fat amount of points back because you're normally using a good slay master. So, Adam and Dragon sit C tier for sure. Uh, Demonics B tier. Well, Mason, that's your tier. Listen, this is mine. So let's pull the Demonics out real quick. Let's have a look. Demonics. <laughs> right. I fucking hate Demonics. All right. You can see Adam and Dragons and Blue Dragons in the same place, yeah? Can we do a quest here? Yes, we can. Just talk to Jay. He'll sort that out. Uh, demonics are very good. Um, I fucking hate them, but they're very good. They're very easy to kill. Okay, there's... there's. I, I need to do a guide on Demonic Gorillas, because there's a lot of people in this game that need to learn how to fucking get this game done properly. You're all sticking to the meta with a uh, arc light. And uh, what, what else are you using? Arc light and a blowpipe usually? That is wrong, okay? That might be the meta, but trust me, there is a way better and more effective way of doing demonic gorillas. And you're going to hate me for it. But the only melee weapon you need on these boys is a fucking SGS. You have an SGS and a blowpipe? You're fucking slapping through these guys better than a arc light, 100%. Okay, 21 mil loot and demonics? Yeah, see, demonics are very good money. And if you do it right, you can get it done really well, really easy. So, the S tier of your RNG, yeah, well, I didn't give a fuck about your RSG, so sorry, but, yeah, not, my, not for my tier list. What's up, Astrom? Um, Demonic Gorillas might actually be, they're, they're, they're somewhere between B and A tier, okay? Can't afford an SGS, that's fine. You probably haven't done Dragon Slayer, uh, Monkey Madness 2 anyway, so, it's not like it's a problem for you. But I can do a Demonic Guide, for sure. Now, uh, and I'll show you guys how it's fucking done. Um... I think they're, they're somewhere between A and B tier because they're not, they can be really fucking annoying and the RNG can be really bad and because it's all multi in that area, you just can't get fucked around. Um, well, it's not multi at the start, which is where you should be killing them. I think it's B because it's not reliably good. You can go dry on runs. It's a, the classic Abyssal Demon situation where you go like fucking 3,000 kills without a whip. So we're not going to go, I don't think... I don't think A tier is suitable for them. If they were smaller tasks, they would be better, to be honest. If I spent less time killing them for a task, I'd be happier. They are annoying to kill. They're good money, and but they are really easy to kill with uh, the SGS, trust me. You just use one weapon, that's it. Um, what do we got now? There was another one. Let's do Abyssal Demons. Okay, Abyssal Demons. Now, a lot of you guys can't... Um, you probably haven't killed Abyssal Demons before, which makes sense, because you're all fucking sitting in Nightmare Zone getting max combat at 70 fucking Slayer. So, the thing about Abyssal Demons is they're very easy to kill. You guys won't be, might not be aware of this. Um, they're very easy to kill. They're not really that much of a threat. The Arc Light absolutely fucking splits their cheeks. Uh, but their only good drop is the Whip. Okay, and you can go dry for quite a while with the Whip. That's it. If you don't get a, drip, if you don't get a drop of uh, the Whip, you're not making money. Uh, but it doesn't take a lot to kill. They're available in the catacombs for more XP. It's just as easy. So the Abyssal Demons are getting C tier because... Are they getting C tier though? I think they're getting C tier. No, no, just the Demon, not the Sire. Just the Demon. I think... Um, I think Abyssal Demon C tier. Because they, they... I would always do them. I don't think I'd ever skip them. But holy shit. If you don't, if you don't get a whip, you're not making money, you know? I'm gonna move it over here so we can kind of fit more stuff. Alright, you guys can just make a, make what you think of the list after. Okay? It's, it's, an, it's another, it's, I know that's a pretty reasonable drop rate, but it's pretty, yeah, they, they're, there's nothing, there's not too much to them other than that, really. There's nothing that keeps you awake at night. So they can get fucked. 
We should do the Black Demon too while it's here. Black Demon, if you haven't done Monkey Madness 2, you block this shit. Okay? No, no debate. Alright, next. Um, elves. These are fucking annoying. No one likes doing elves. I don't want to block elves. I think I might even have them blocked. I wouldn't block them because there's worse shit out there. You can just AFK them at city. Um, the the la, 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 city. Uh, but I will skip them uh, almost every chance I get. Elves are E tier. Unless there's something I'm missing with elves. But you can block them easily. 100%. Move these two fat cunts over. Big swole boy. Got to start making some space here. Chance for a stupid Christian plus cannon. Yeah? Nah. Fuck that. Elves are bad. Alright, make some space. Here we go. What do you think about Greater Demon? I'll get to it right now. Greater Demon. I will do Greater Demons because they are very easy to kill. Fair enough. Right? They drop hard close guards, they drop room full helmets. What's what's to complain about? They're not very difficult. You can get them all done in one run. Take an hour, get the whole thing done very quick. So you can you can do them in core end, but another good spot to do them is in the wilderness at the demonic ruins. Now I know it's level 50 odd wilderness, you don't want to be up there because your dick's small and you're scared of fucking sweat bags. Don't take much with you, but you can go there, you kill them in the demonic ruins, have protect from melon the whole time, your prayer will regenerate faster than you're using it. So you can just kill them without ever taking damage from them. Requires no resources. You go out there with a weapon, no armor. That way if you die, it doesn't matter. And it doesn't cost you any prayer potions because the demonic ruins recharges your prayer when you're in that area faster than uh, Protect from Melee does. I'm sure a lot of you probably weren't aware of that because, well, let's be honest, you're all fucking pussies and don't go in the wilderness. Big brain right here. You can get a teleport straight there. Greater demons are pretty good. The loot's horse shit though, but they're good, easy, and absolute, it cost absolutely nothing to kill. So they're B tier. Okay? Greater demons, something I would do almost always. Goblins, B tier? Sorry, not B tier. I'm, no, they're not B tier. Sorry, I don't know why I said B tier. Does that lock it in now? Is that confirmed? I think. Goblins, free XP once again. They're the D tier. They're, they're, with, the, they're with the chickens here, okay? Goblins are only good for that purpose there. Let's move them over here so we can get them in front. There we go. So goblins and chickens are on the same pedestal. You're there just to get quick tasks out of the way. Fuck them off. Get it going, alright? We don't care about goblins. They're horse shit. So let's move on to something more useful. I don't even know what the fuck this is. Sulfur lizard. Never heard of it. Never done it. Can someone give me a, a quick rundown of what the fuck a sulfur lizard is? Let me, let me Google this shit. The fuck is a sulfur lizard? Are these, wait, these are in the fucking, the hydro place, eh? And they're an alternative to desert lizards. Do not require ice coolers. Okay, pretty cool, pretty good drops. Would I skip them? Oh, if they're better than ice lizards, if they're better than the fucking, the desert lizards, that's a pretty good fucking alternative, right? You don't need the ice coolers. They have an actual drop table. Okay, good herbs, ores. That's not too bad. Slow level 44, so you can do it as a fucking spud. Almost everyone fucking assigns it. For low levels at least. So that's why I've never done it, because I'm not fucking horseshit. There, okay, judging by the drop table and stuff, they're not too bad. Uh, they're a good alternative for um, desert lizards, which when we get to, obviously, is fucking horseshit. We can do a jelly flavor tier list for sure. I'll get all the jellies out and we'll do it. They replace desert lizards, yeah, but in a better way. So maybe, maybe these guys can be. I'll probably still put in D tier because it's not that doesn't overly excite me. It's really low tier content, and that's to get to the Mount Kalilum. They're good, drops are good, but they're pretty. They they seem they're pretty shit looking at the stats. You know, in terms of the Slayer XP you're getting. Are they? I don't think they're classed as desert lizards. I D tier, D tier. I'm not impressed with them. I'm just. Um, the only thing I'm impressed with is that they're an alternative to desert lizards, which we can do right now, okay? Wherever they are, right here. Desert lizards. If you get these, all right, I've got a little trick for you guys. When you get desert lizards, you're not going to know about this, okay? Trust me. This is new to everyone here. You put them in F tier because you block them because they're fucking horse shit. That's why they look like crocodiles. It's all the same fucking shit. Put them right over here next to the spiritual creatures. Desert lizards, 
go in the fucking bin. You put that shit in the fucking dumpster. They're garbage, okay? Desert lizards are F, no matter what. <clears throat> is the tier list for hardcore or normal? Tier list is for everyone, okay? Tier list is for people that want to get good at the game, okay? Soft lizards um, should have 1k HP, but they have 1% chance to explode for 120 damage. Just got shut the fuck up. Jesus Christ. Basilisk. Normal basilisk. Not the big boy basilisk, normal ones. These are shit. They are D tier. Here's why. They're shit. You need a fucking mirror shield. Their drops are horrible. They're just that annoying task you keep getting over and over again. We don't care about basilisks. They take too much effort to kill for almost fucking no reward. The Slayer XP rate is average. I'm not impressed with them. The sooner you can get off of Master that gives you this shit, the better. In other words, the sooner you can kill the bigger ones, the better. Okay? The only reason they're good is because you don't want to do a full... No, these ones don't do the draw. These are the normal Basilisk. The only reason you want these ones to kill these ones instead is if you can't be fucked doing 180 fucking big basilisks for the draw. Fuck that shit. What demon is on B tier? That's uh, Demonic Gorillas and Greater Demon. Shift Control should bring the picture to the front. What do you mean, picture to the front? Nah, doesn't work. Sorry. Draw though. This is the draw one. Shift control and... Oh, okay, I see what you mean. Oh, cool. Alright, thank you. Look at that. You're a good boy. Thank you. Alright, so, Basilisk Knight. Now, this is your favourite. Who loves the Basilisk Knight? Basilisk Knight, hey? Who loves killing these boys? Because the draw is so good, it's so expensive. The face guard, oh my god. Amazing. They're changing it soon, right? So you can't order retaliate, or did they actually change it now? You can't order retaliate to fix it, uh, so they can't um, you can't AFK them basically. Who's lagging? Am I lagging? Hello? Am I lagging? Are you guys alright? Not anymore. Alright, sorry about that, guys. Fucking yeah, the sweet Australian internet. Fuck this fucking country. Um. So it's one in a thousand on task and one in five thousand off task. We only care about on task. Now, these boys to kill. I've done a few of these in my time. Not too many because, well, you're about to experience why. They're fucking horrible. They are shit. They drop nothing but the jaw and the jaw is one in a thousand which is a load of shit. Is there a waste of time? Is Zora on this list? I don't know. We'll have to find out. Don't think so. Um... I think the Bastos Knights are horrible. The only re they're, they're only good because of the jaw. Okay? And the now here's my thing about these guys being D tier than all Bastos. Is because when you get 180 of these, you don't want to kill 180 uh, Sentinels. Or Knights, sorry. If you are killing 180 of them, you're fucking insane. I don't know why why you would even fucking sit through that. They, they're removing the AFK effect as well, which is good. Which means you can't sit there and AFK it. So it's no longer easy, easy content. I would skip these, honestly. I normally skip Basilisks. Unless I can't be fucked, then I'll run a quick one with these Basilisks. I'm gonna put Basilisk Knight, Basilisk Knight, sorry. Basilisk <laughs> Knight at E tier. Because I think they're fucking horrible. Okay? They're shit. If you're doing them, that's fine. You can waste your time wishing that you get a, a, a drop that's slowly declining in price. But they're not fucking worth it. Okay? For Slayer, they're not worth killing. They removed the special from regulars and made it un AFK for superiors. So you can't AFK superiors as far as I know. Yeah, you can't do that. Wait, they removed the special from the regulars. That sounds like easy escape. Fucking Jagex. Load of shit. Fucking disgusting. First task, draw, I will always do them C tier. Alright, well that's your C tier, but yeah, nah, fuck that. They're um they're not worth it. You can just skip them and get more done. Hand in the wall. What are these called? The wall beasts? Um, these are fucking annoying, dumb, stupid, but they're at the point in the game where you can't skip or block because, you know, you only get them at level 1, but they're fucking horseshit, they go on F tier, they have no fucking perks to the game, they're just annoying cunts that get in your way, you're trying to get through the dungeon to your other fucking slayer task that's deep in the dungeon, and it's grabbing you by the fucking head, fuck off, no, wall beasts are fucking shit, I don't want wall beasts, fuck them. 
You need the spiky helm, and if, if you're not even looking for them, you're fucked, you know? Why block basilisks if you have to unlock them? Just un unlock them and don't waste the block spot. That's another choice. There you go. Don't unlock them. Easy peasy. But you don't need to. No, basilisks you don't have to unlock. Basilisks you get when you get the Slayer level. You just kill them as basilisks, right? Uh, Gigawatt. Is that these ones here? Kilowatt. From, I haven't killed these in a very long time. I think maybe just before RS3. From memory, these are fucking terrible, right? That's then passive. Let me make sure I'm remembering the right fucking thing. I don't even want to, yeah. Ernest the chicken, yeah, in the manor. Yeah, these are fucking straight up F tier. These are terrible. Okay, they drop fucking nothing. They're just annoying. I'm pretty sure they hit really fucking hard as well. Or a lot. I remember them being really fucking annoying. You have to unlock basilisks? Do you? I didn't know you had... No, are you sure you have to unlock basilisks? I thought you just need to have a certain level for them. You have to unlock... You unlock the ability to do this. I could be wrong. That doesn't sound right, but okay. Sucks and costs a lot of player pots. Max melee might be best. I'm not sure if you're referring to the basilisks or the, the what still. Yeah, they hit fast. Yeah, you need to unlock. Oh, okay. You unlock basilisks for all slayer masters to have them. Oh, okay. That's what you mean. Okay. Yeah. Well, there. Yeah, don't unlock that shit then when you're a higher level. Okay. that's. I didn't realize you meant uh, for all slayer masters. Now I get you. All right. My apologies, guys. Durado doesn't get basilisk tiles without the unlock. I see what you mean now. Sorry. If you were more clear about it at the fucking start, cunt, we wouldn't be in this fucking problem. Jesus. Uh, you unlock them for the highlight. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Kraken. And we're not talking about the boss. We're talking about the little boys. The little boys are relatively good to kill because they're easy. They don't fucking hurt you. And they drop the tentacle, right? But it's at a high rate. They're not the worst, but they're not the best. Um, when you get a Kraken task and you're sick of killing the boss, which... Technically, you shouldn't be because you should be crashing everyone you can. If you get bored of doing the Kraken boss, okay, what you do is you start hopping world and you start crashing people. I'll, I'll get into that later, but it makes the Slayer task 10 times more fun. But um, Kraken's a C tier because the drops are pretty decent, um, but at the same time, they're not, like, any better. I Sometimes I skip them if I really can't be fucked, but if I'm at my, like, last 30 points, I won't skip them. I'll do them, okay? These boys, the catapult, catapult pond, whatever that it fucking says. I got them early on my RuneScape 3, Hardcore Iron Man. If you get these at any point in Slayer, you're more than likely a really low level and you're going to fucking struggle. These things are fucking horrible and I recommend blocking them as soon as possible. These are just a whole another kettle of fish you don't want to be fucking with, okay? I don't even know where to begin. The the cattle the cattle pond cattle cattle pond whatever they even fucking mean the green horse cunts fuck them they should be blocked immediately they are they're horrible you're only blocking these if you're at that level by the way as soon as you no longer get assigned them you unblock them you block something else okay always save the points and you fucking just skip them you probably won't get them that often you'll be moving on before then let me go to live chat because I feel like I'm missing some chat here they're in the stronghold security place yeah. Sorry if I've missed some chat, guys. Alright. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, Easter's right. Yeah, they just fuck you up. They're really annoying. These are the Harpy Bug Swarms. These are pretty good to kill. They're very easy, very quick. You just gotta hold that little lantern thing at their face and hit them with the other hand. Um, the drops aren't too bad. I think you get a lot of fire rings from them, hey? Um, but they, they're reasonably good XP. They're really quick... Um, Really quick task. I would never skip them. I would never block them. I don't think they're that bad. They're really low level. Um, I don't mind them. These used to be. These used to be one of my favorite tasks as a noob, as the at a lower level in the game. And I definitely rate them as well. When you get it as a side task, you should be happy because there's a hell of a lot worse out there from that chicken fucking 
Um, what's the place? The Lost City. Xanaris. So I'm going to put these B tier. These are some B tier content right here. These, these boys are a good mid-level Slayer task. The loot is not half bad. It's not a, it's not a loot table that sends you back to the bank because you've got to keep all of it. It's a lot of stackables. Um, the damage they put out is fuck all. The XP you get is good and it's a really quick task. It's not too crowded either. You're barely ever struggling to get your kills. So they're a pretty good task. Uh, they are with the spiders that are aggressive in single combat. Yes, that's another point. You're talking about the cattle bapon, cat, cattle bapon, fuckwits. Yeah, the fashion lantern. Yeah, gargoyles S, but not gargoyles Josh. You fucking wait your turn. Uh, two totem pieces in ten blood veil kills. Nice. You should um. Oh no. Okay, blood veil's D tier. All right. Nice work. Two totems pretty good though. All right. Next, pyrophanes. <laughs> pyrophanes. I would normally. I wouldn't skip them, but I don't fucking like them. I wouldn't skip them because they're really easy. They're magical melee, right? But they hit like fucking piss. So Pyrophanes aren't half bad again. It's a good source of fire runes. Fire staffs, I believe. They're not the worst in the world. I think D tier is suitable for Pyrophanes. If you want to skip them, you can. But if you've only got 30 points left, don't hesitate too much. It's up to you. Is it worth gambling? It depends on your master and what you're looking for. They are good points. Very, very quick task. But very shit and annoying. So, they're very common. So, like the, whatever they're rated at. I think they're, all magic melees, almost always D tier. I would probably agree there, except for the warped jellies. For sure. You don't have any slay requirements. There's no restrictions for them, except the level. So, that's good. Uh, let's do the drake. What do you guys think of the Drake? I know a lot of people don't like him. <clears throat> yeah, they're not a bad task. No, they're, yeah, they're, they're, they're an easy task. It's just they're not really... You know, they don't stand out, do they? Now, Drakes. Big boys. Look at them. Eh? Look at those boys. This guy here. I used to actually really enjoy doing these when they first came out. But you have to pay attention. Okay? And a lot of you guys struggle paying attention. That's why you're always outside Lumbridge Castle fucking splashing on rats and shit. So, that's the problem you guys have. I'm not sure on the loot drop table. I don't remember it being super, super good. Um, they're good. I mean, they're pretty decent, like, mage XP. I'd mage them with the trident, I think I remember doing. As long as, if you can count to, what is it, five? You should be fine. You block them. I don't block drakes. But I have considered it, you know? I do skip them a fair amount. Um... But they're not like, yeah, I think I skipped them because I'm a lazy cunt. If you want to pay attention, they can be alright. But if you don't want to pay attention, you're like me. They're pretty meh. You know, they might, I think D or E tier. Maybe E tier. I would, I normally, let's be honest, I've skipped a fucking lot of them lately. I haven't done drags in a while because I skip them, right? I'm, yeah, I'm not, let's be honest, they're E tier, okay? When you, when you, when you sum it up, the more you think about it, yeah, okay, they're shit. Whatever these fucking cunts are, they are wearing the budget, cheap, Replacement, if you're a fucking idiot for mole slippers, these are F tier, because they're fucking stupid, okay? Flippers are stupid. If you see a player in the game wearing slippers, you're a fucking idiot. Um, if you see someone killing these guys, uh, down in, what is it, a Mudskipper Point? Like, just go to Mud... Whenever you're in Port Sam, go to Mudskipper Point. Just go check it out, you know? And if you see anyone killing these guys, let them know that they're a fucking idiot. Just say, you are a fucking dumb cunt. You wasted your fucking points blocking and skipping shit when you could have blocked these cunts. You're a dumbass. Fuck them. Slippy Mogas. No. No. There's no no qu no conversation to be had there. Fuck them. Cave Horrors. Favorite tasks are Dust Devils, Gargoyles, and Karask. Nice, Dom. Good to hear that, mate. We'll talk about them when we get to them. What's up, Grim HC? How you doing? You can use Super Anti Fire if you don't want to. If you want to. Okay. Oh, I didn't know you can do that with Drax. Actually, I think I did, yeah. Mud skipper rotations are a thing. It's official. I don't even know what the fuck that. Oh, the, the, a thing. Sorry, yeah, pretty much what I was just saying. Yeah, I'm a fucking retard. Yes. They drop flipper though. He's better than the mole slippers. Can we ban Joss in the chat? Can we just time him out? Put you on timeout. My first ever timeout. Well deserved. Look at that. I'm pretty sure he's timed out now, right? Good. Yeah. Eat shit. Fucking cunt. First time I ever timed someone out. Well deserved. Unless I've read that autistically. 
Uh, block players who, who kill skippers. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> you see someone down there, block them and abuse them. B tier from us. Um, yeah, cave horrors, if you've got a herb sack, they're good. They're easy. Witchwood icon, so you're only losing your amulet, which is like fucking a fraction of your DPS, so it doesn't matter if you don't have to wear your torture. Um, it's not that impressive. These guys are pretty good. They're, they're a bit of a cunt to get to, but yeah, they drop really good herbs. The mask is always a nice uh, bonus. You get some good logs as well if you want to really do your make plank shit. And the seeds, I'm pretty sure you can get some Torstall Snapdragon seeds on them too, so... Uh, B tier for the cave horrors. I almost never skip them. I probably feel like I should. They really fit in that bracket where I should skip them, but I don't because I go, well, actually, they're not that bad. You know, I'll, I'll do my cave horrors. I like cave horrors. They're a good B tier slay monster. As you can see so far from this list, okay, I think the slayer skill is excellent. I, I love the slayer skill. I think it's good. But looking at this list, you have cows at S, rune dragons at A, a small B tier, and then C down. You'd almost think that Slayer is just fucking shit to train, right? You'd almost think Nightmare Zone is worth your time. Looking at this list right here. <laughs> it's just... What this is telling you is low level Slayer is fucking garbage. That's what this list is telling you right now. Tell the trouble brewing decent speed, yeah? Cows was... Yeah, Cows was a... Cows a pay to win. And I would never scam a boy Jamie. Um, so... We pay, we say, you know? Cockatrice. Speaking of shit tasks... Um, if you thought Basilis were bad, wait till you get to the Crocotrice. Well, you shouldn't, you should just skip them. They're E tier. Fuck those guys. Iron Boots for clue scores. Grand Exchange. Iron Man content. Don't give a fuck. What is this long-nosed piece of shit? This is called the Jerusalem. Okay? He's 90% Jewish. Probably drops a lot of money. I don't know anything else about it. It's called a Monolisk. These are the cards that lay on the floor, right? We are looking at them yesterday. Mono... Molinisk, sorry. These things I've never fucking heard of. Until yesterday. I don't know what the fuck it is. Where do you find them? You need a Slayer Bell? In the Dorish Khan South Dungeon. Okay, so... These are an immediate F tier. Here's why. No one fucking does them for a good reason. They're dead content. In fact, I wouldn't even skip them. I would just go to a lower level Slayer Master. And reset your entire streak. That's how fucking bad they are. They sit below F. I don't want to fucking, just, I don't even know what that is, okay? I don't know what that is, that's, that's... I'll make it on F2 so you can see it, but yeah, that is fucking horseshit. <laughs> what is your most hated task? Ah, oh, shit, I don't know yet. Something in FT, I guess, <laughs> it depends. F for looks fucked, yeah, pretty much. Alright, um... Nah, Slayer, Slayer is a good skill, I enjoy it. Turoff! These things, uh, they're only good for, what, did they drop the Leaf Bladed Battle Axe? They're only good for their Leaf Bladed drops. Other than that, these things are fucking awful. They're everywhere. I think that they've got superiors now, I think, while they were looking at it. Doesn't matter because I'm not judging them on their superiors. They are a good herb drop, but I like to skip them. I don't like them, but I would do them at the same time. They are really quick. You just kill the little, little bitch one, so they can go D tier. Because they're not as bad as this shit, but they're pretty fucking bad. Um, Black Knight for S tier for White Knight Sword. If you can tell me what Slayer Master gives you Black Knight without looking at the wiki, sure. Look at him, he's fucking swole though. This Black Knight's fucking thick. You don't fuck with this guy. Alright. Did you even know you can get Black Knight as a Slayer task? When have you ever had a Black Knight as a Slayer task? Z tier, what, what is that? Is that some Oda Block shit? Draw good herbs and are fast. Yeah, that's why I'd sit them at D. Turned in on your break. Very happy to see the cows made at S tier. Yeah, they were. They, it was a pay to win, Alex. Unfortunately, but yeah, they're S tier for sure. Uh, the Black Knights are a wilderness only Slayer task. You'll only get them from the wilderness bitch, I believe. So your choice is. Um, what's the there's one place, and then there's Venezuela, or above Venonatus, where you can kill them. Wherever the Black Knights are. Um, I mean, they're Black Knights. I, I mean, if you're doing Wilderness Slay, you have no choice but to kill them. They're D-tier. There's nothing fun about them. They're fucking shit. You can only kill them in the Wilderness. Anything outside of the Wilderness means nothing. So they've got that extra wildy loot. They're D-tier. 
because why would you skip anything? If you get assigned, if you're doing Wilderness Slayer, you shouldn't be skipping anything, right? Because your monsters are already limited. You should know what you're going in for. You should be willing to kill anything out there as quick as you can. Oh, your exam went well, William? Hell yeah. Nice work, man. You got one more to go? Good luck on that one as well. I hope you do well. Go to my channel if you want to learn to kill the Dark Core at Corp. Didn't I just fucking time you out, Cam? You want to learn to kill the Dark Core and Corp? No one wants to kill the Dark Core and Corp. Sounds like a waste of fucking time. Fuck your channel, Joss. Hey, like that. Uh, Cannon Knights and Tally Dungeon. I don't think they... I think it's just wilderness only kills. Zygmas, we can do them after these boys. Cave Slugs, the Sea Salt. Unless you've unlocked the... You can unlock the thing where you automatically salt them. But by that time, you're probably not getting them anymore. So they're garbage. They're ETN. Not because they should be blocked. Just because they're fucking horrible. And there's no... There's no... These are shit. Okay, when you're doing Slayer that level, you're shit. They're shit. These are the Zygomites from Xanarus. These things are fucking stupid, but they're small tasks, so it's quick points. Okay? Appreciate that, Animus. How you doing, man? These are quick points. You did say yesterday for the first fucking task was Green Dragon, so I had to go to the Woody. Got a hard clue out of it. Fuck it. Yeah. No, Green Dragons are... We'll talk about Green Dragons. Zygomites. They're a quick task, which is good, but everything else about them is cancer. Um... So they're going E as well, okay? They're only good just to get out of the way, but everything about them is shit. Same goes for the Fossil Island ones. Where are they? These guys. If you if you see anyone doing these, absolutely fucking belt the cunt. Verbally abuse them any way you can. You have my permission. Um, straight over Jagex's head. Use any words you can necessary to hurt them, uh, hurt their feelings. Make them cry. If you see people doing either of these two, they're fucking idiots. Ghouls. If you do ghouls, it's like, what, a friend did these until he got the champion scroll? Same thing, alright? If you do ghouls, fuck the ghouls, alright? Fuck, fuck everything about ghouls. Ghouls are shit. You shouldn't even be getting them as a task. They're F. I wouldn't even block them though. It sounds like a waste of points. You won't be getting them too long. Ghouls are shit. Nice t-shirt. Uh, thanks, I guess. It's blue. No one's commented on my t-shirt before. Uh, so I just notified you that I'm streaming. Well, Tanya, you're in the Discord. I'm pretty sure I tagged everyone, right? Oh, Romigo, I love the picture in the general chat. Thank you, appreciate that. That's hot as fuck. I'm getting hard just looking at that. I tagged everyone, uh, Tanya, so that's your problem, not mine. I'm getting tagged everywhere. Alright. Next up, are werewolves ranked yet? I uh, don't think werewolves are on here because, um... Well, they're shit. I'll give you an F right now for werewolves. <laughs> um... Earth Warriors, wilderness only, I believe, but they're not a wood. They're they're signed from all Slayer Masters, well, the, the multiple Slayer Masters, but they're not. But they're only in the wilderness, in the Edgefield Dungeon. They're not. They're not a half bad task. The only issue there is getting PK'd. Here's a simple solution: don't take what you don't want to lose. Don't be fucking garbage. And there's a shortcut to protect you, right? So, um, they're not. They're not the worst. They're pretty easy points. Pretty easy kills. And uh, I'm pretty sure you can dress in like full bronze and troll people there, right? I'm pretty sure I saw someone doing that. Probably Torvesta or some dumb cunt. Um, I, I think I think Earth Warriors aren't the worst. I don't think they're too bad. I don't think I'd skip them at the level that you're doing them, so I'm happy to put them at C tier. I think Earth Warriors are a nice, easy task to get done super quick. What's up, Varunjain? Varunjain? How come you've got 80 Marine Dragons on the Slayer Monster list? Because you get assigned them as Slayer tasks. It's not just Slayer monsters on the Slayer list, it's just, yeah, anything as a Slayer task, mostly. There's a few that were missed, but there's a lot of fucking monsters. Worms, or Worms, or whatever they are, these are just as bad as Drake's. Don't care what you say, guys, I know you can get the Harpoon, I know you can get whatever the fuck else they drop, but they're just as bad as Drake's, okay? They're shit. Everything in that dungeon is shit, except the Hydra boss. Everything else is fucking horse shit. It's stupid content. Friends like six videos, skull tricks, uh, earth wars. Fuck. You must really enjoy it, eh? Some content just doesn't get old. Don't care what you say, gonads. Worms or worms, whatever you call them, are shit. I don't care how long you spend there. I did a whole task there the other day. They're shit. Okay. Green dragons. 50k melee XP with lance. Yeah, but if you're getting a lance just to kill worms or worms, you got your priorities set in the wrong way. Use a hustle. You'll save yourself fucking, what, 80 mil? Or 60 mil or whatever they're worth. And, um... Probably get the similar amount of uh, melee XP. Wyvern. There you go. 
Oh, you want me to do wyverns? These are just worms, aren't they? W Y R M. These are green dragons. These are good boys. Now, green dragons are excellent. If you haven't done green dragons before, you gotta to learn today. If you don't know anything about green dragons, or if you're doing green dragons, you're doing it wrong, more than likely. If you're doing green dragons, all you have to do is bot. Alright? But, I don't bot. So I've got another strategy that works. Alright? What you do is you go to green dragons, you get a, a whip, you get an anti-dragon shield, and an amulet of glory, and then one other item of your choice. Dragon legs, uh, some garbage, doesn't matter, alright? That's all you wear. You don't wear body, you don't wear a helmet, you don't wear boots, mole slippers, of course, you don't... Yeah, take mole slippers, fuck the legs off, sorry. Just realise mole slippers are really valuable. Thank you, Alex Pilkey. So, whip, glory, uh, slippers, you can take something else if you don't mind losing the glory. And then you take a cannon, and you go to the green dragon spot just north of Edgeville, to the left, that's single combat. You set your cannon up there, you load that bitch up, 200 cannibals on you, you fill your inventory, you go back to Edgeville, you come back, your cannon stays there. If you get PK'd, your cannon stays there. No matter what, you can get a task done real quick, you can bank all the bones and hides, it doesn't take long to do, you make a lot of money, you don't even have to be on task. It's excellent. These are an excellent source of money, and if you ever get these as a slayer task, I highly recommend doing them. Green dragons are excellent, really fast, I'm going to put them A tier, they're not S tier, they're A tier. Green dragons and Marine Dragons are both absolutely worth doing as a Slayer task. Take your max gear to greens. I would do that, but you probably wouldn't, Josh. Uh, judging by you in general and what I've seen so far in the chat, you're a pussy, so I would though. But if you want the strat for Green Dragons, is you take Whip, Slippers, Anti-Dragon Shield, Glory, and something else. You take your cannon out there, you leave your cannon set up. If you dive your cannon set up, you don't lose it. It stays set up. You don't, if you get PK'd, it's not theirs. It's not in your inventory. Okay, you take 200 cannibals so you don't lose them all. You can get a full inventory out of uh, green dragons, less than 200 cannibals. You teleport back because you're in like level 12 wilderness, so you barely get PK'd, then you go back. If PK's there, teleport out or run south. It's not hard. Excellent fucking task, very easy. 50k with a specialized weapon is absolute uh, toss, to be honest. Uh, you get more than that at virtually every dragon of tasks with a lance. Yeah, pretty much, Marix hit the nail on the head there. Uh, Ferocious still the best in slot for Hydras. I think Ferocious have never been best in slot. Ferocious are fucking horseshit gloves. You should sell your Hydra lever. If you have Ferocious gloves, turn them back to Hydra, Hydra lever and sell them. Barrow's gloves are way too fucking good. I don't know why you'd give up all those, uh, all the defense stats and stuff for a little bit of extra accuracy and damage. It doesn't quite make sense. Barrow's gloves are fucking OP and dirt cheap. If you're doing Wilder Slayer and you bring a cannon, don't pick it up. Yeah, leave your cannon on the floor because it stays yours if it stays on the floor. Like, set up. Be allowed to bully Joss in the chat. Are you allowed? You're allowed to bully Joss in the chat, sure. Unless he joins the channel membership. Other than that, um, yeah, go ahead and bully him as long as it's within YouTube's guidelines. Ben Weiser too, sure. Bully him. All right. Bullying is okay. Bullying makes you stronger. Dark beasts. These are big boys. Dark beasts. The only reason these are good. Uh, it's not because of the dark bow drop. The dark bow drop is getting worse and worse by the day. The only reason these boys are good is simply because the task is like fucking 10 long, okay? That's all it is. Pico of cannon, imagine you can't actually kill them with a cannon though. Are we allowed to bully Jay? No, you can't bully Jay. You can try, but you can't. Um, yeah, dark beasts are reasonably good to kill. Very easy, very quick. As long as you don't attack them first, you only have to worry about melee damage. The drops are pretty good. You get room bars and shit. And because the tasks are so short, they're B tier. You should do your dust, dark, beat ta dark beast tasks. Sorry, I have autism, I can't speak. So that sums up the first half of the tier list so far. How are we feeling about it? You guys want to give me your opinion on what you think? Are uh, we happy with the way it's going? Obviously, looking at this, a lot of Slayer content appears to be reasonably dog shit. Um, but that's, there's only so much you can block and only so much you can skip. What do you think? Give me your opinions. I'm going to get a drink because I'm dying of... Thirst over here. Give myself a coke. Don't forget to like the stream too. Who are the two fucking pussies that dislike? Show your face. If you dislike the stream, let me know in the chat. Don't be a fucking bitch.
fucking Cody with the boys. Just like because Jay said to. Disgusting. Joss and his mother dislike the stream. Joss's mother is probably dead. Can't dislike from the grave. Alright. Uh, I'd love to see the carnage a cannon could cause in PvP. Would be pretty good. You always get hard when you trash talk. Don't do that. Wait, I always get hard when you trash talk? Don't do that? You're sending me mixed signals, mate. That's fucking weird. Alright. You happy with the list so far? George Langdon? Nice. Alright. So. So far, the Slayers is looking good. Very good, um... Very good analysis of what's good and what's shit. What's hot and what's Scott. Alright. So, now we'll move on to... Someone said they wanted... What are these called? The Spectres? Do the Aberrant Spectre first. Then we'll do the Demon. Let's bring them both over there. Look at these swole boys. These are like the bodyguards standing outside your mom's house. Just waiting for her to finish her job so they can go back to the street corner. These are the boys, alright? You got the Pimp. And you got the boys. Now... Big green boy. Excellent. Excellent. Cannon. Easy. Task is done like that. Easy herbs. Easy cannon. They're right next to the Slayer Master. If you're using that Slayer Master, you're a fucking idiot anyway, but... Our inspectors, there is almost nothing to worry about when you get them. You should absolutely do our inspector tasks every day of the week at the Trinome Stronghold. Not in the Slayer Tower. You do them in the Stronghold Slayer Dungeon. They are... B tier, because you, you take a herb sack. You don't take a herb sack or a cannon, you're going to have a bad time, but you have to do that, okay? You can't cannon the brown ones, I know. And we're going to get onto the brown ones now. Now, the brown ones are stronger, slightly better drops, um, and if you're praying against them, you lose money every time, okay? The brown ones are fucking shit. If they were separate, I would straight up skip the brown ones. They're fucking horse shit, okay? Although I do uh, the brown ones a fair bit, because I'm a fucking idiot, you should absolutely skip these. These are terrible, okay? But these are good. The lower, the weaker ones, excellent. You got that shit done. F, uh, yeah, the, the, the herb sack makes these way better. YouTube algorithms don't understand jokes, unfortunately. I think the like system's fucked at the moment. YouTube is sending out emails saying that people's likes are the wrong way around or some shit. I don't fucking know. I don't care. It doesn't matter. Um, apparently, you can vote from the grave in America. <laughs> All right, yeah, fair enough. You got me good there. That's good. Um, that's why they're brown. Yeah, they're brown because they're fucking shit. Should be C. Which one should be C? The brown or the gr the green? Aiden, tell me why. <coughs> Thank you, Scott, for another KKK joke. All right, banshees. Banshees. I haven't done banshees in so fucking long. Um, you can twist the banshees. You can burst, right? I mean, if you absolutely wanted to, but you're not bursting them if you have banshees, so we're not actually discussing that. Um, cannon in Stronghold isn't multi-combat, though. It's not, but it kills them fucking quick. You don't need the cannon in multi for it to be effective, trust me. Where's Abbey Demon? Abbey Demon's here at C. C tier. They're fucking shit. The banshees, I believe, well, I know the banshees are shit. The twisted banshees I've never done, I don't understand why they even exist, because you can't really burst at that level. Are they that much better? I don't know. Going off my knowledge from ban Banshees. Would I skip them? At that level, when you're killing them, there's not a huge amount. You, you only get like 60 or something, right? So it's not the worst. The task itself isn't too bad. Banshees can probably sit here at D. And I think the other Banshees can probably sit with them just because it's the same bracket, right? They're not actually too bad. Tracy says you're excused for your burp. I oh, appreciate that. Thank you, Tracy. Shout out to Tracy. Tracy's my girl. Can we get a fat buff in the chat for Tracy? Channel members, hit it up. Actually, no. A drop, drop a fat nut in the chat for Tracy. For gonads' sake, boys. If you're a channel member, hit it up. You know what I'm saying. Abs aren't AFK, good XP, or good money. You're doing abs wrong then, to be honest. They're AFK and they're good herbs. Appreciate that, Alex. Blood bells can be cannoned. Yeah, but they're shit. So, they're shit. They're fucking horrible. Uh, give us a good old rigor with the hard R for the boys. I'll give you a rigor with the hard R for the boys. I fucking slapped one on Judd yesterday. She's seen it. Will you do a pet tier list? 
Yeah, you want a pet tealess? Just let Jay know. Jay will sort all the tealess out. He's our, he's our, um, our sweatshop slave labor boy. He makes the tealess look good and we send him our love in return. And just tell them that love is worth everything. Money can't buy love. Yeah, ship it quick. That's what's good about them. Ship it quick is acceptable. Spiders. These were fucking S tier during Trailblazer, but not today. Not in today's day and age of the game. These are here for the same purpose as chickens and goblins and cows. Simply just to fucking get that shit over with. We're going down to D tier, all right? Because you would never skip them, it's a waste of points. But you'd never do them unironically because, well, it's a waste of time, all right? Uh, Jay, could you please sort out a pet tier list? Yeah, for the boys, and don't be a god cunt and get a dog. Don't be a god cunt. Yeah, don't be a god, Jay. Get a dog up here. Subscriber tier list of all you guys. I can do a channel member tier list, put all the channel members on here, and I can just judge you guys based on my personal opinion. You can get some real fucking salty attitudes. Mutated blood deal, blood veil over abs. Well, Aiden, you play the game your way, mate. You're entitled to the wrong opinion. Don't worry. Cave slime. Shit. Absolutely, anything in that fucking dungeon is shit, okay? If it's in Lumbridge dungeon, you're gonna have a bad time. There's no discussion to be had. They're annoying, they're shit, that dungeon is fucking shit. Move all these boys across. The fuck? Alright. Move all these boys across. Alright, dust devil. No, 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 I don't want to see any debate in the chat, alright? We can do all sorts of tier lists, guys. Once a week, we'll get it going. All right, don't stress. If you guys um, if you guys are saying the word "cunt" or "fuck" in the chat and it's getting removed, don't worry. There is a way around it. I do apologize. That's the way YouTube works now. You can't say "cunt" or "fuck" in the chat because it'll like, yeah, it'll remove it automatically. There is a way around it, however. Okay, channel members, show them how it's done. You, you use your emojis and you send them a fat fucking cunt in the chat. Instant bypass. YouTube cannot detect such big dick energy, no matter what. So if you guys want to get a hold of that, you know exactly how to do it. Don't be a fucking dog cunt and join that channel membership today. We're eight channel members away from doing a mole slipper drop party. We're looking at, if Alex Pilkey's on board still, we're looking at maybe close to 500 pairs of mole slippers being dropped at the Falador party room. Date and time will be announced at 200 members on the next episode of Rune News. So get in on that. If you haven't been on Rune News, all right, or if you haven't been to watch it, go watch Rune News now, because it's fucking good content. Don't be fucking shit. Can you make a uh, next tier list in colorblind mode? No. What's good today, Zaz? Uh, tier list so far, doing pretty good. The number one hard crime man has just officially died in game. Rip so I haven't died, I'm still going. I mean, number one leaderboards? That's fucking hilarious. Bad luck, what was he doing? Got a cow fight task, should I try a cow fight queen? If you can, go for it. Good luck, I hope you get the pet. Uh, Dust Devil, sorry, back to this cunt. Uh, tried to extend them out, but in line with the appropriate tier so people can see it all after, yeah. Oh, extend them out in line with the appropriate tier. Yeah, after, yeah, well, yep. If you don't watch Rune News, you're a dog cunt. Yes, definitely. What NRL team? I don't watch NRL, so none. I don't even know what NRL is. Is that American football? I'm fucking Australian, mate. Or is that NFL? I don't know. Screen's a little blurry. What do I have in SNA? Is it blurry? Let me make it bigger for you guys on there. Hold on. Let me make let me spice it up for you. If I go up here and I do this. Oh, you're fucking useless. Is that better? Guys? And then I'll just sort my own shit. Would you prefer that? Probably should have done it from the start like this, eh? <laughs> Do I watch any sport? I watch UFC. And as of the Ben Askren, Jake Paul, I also watch a little bit of boxing this weekend. What GPU am I running? <coughs> like a 5600 XT. Basically a 2060, but from AMD. AFL? No, I don't watch that shit either. As an Australian, I do not watch Australian Football League. Now, Dust Devils, let me get this shit out of the way. Good task. 
Catacombs, burst them all days. If you're doing dust doubles in the in the um catacombs and you're bursting them, you're almost doing it right. But I guarantee you, you guys are in there finding an empty world, luring all the dust devils over, sitting in the corner, bursting them, picking up the runes and the stackables. Is that what you're all doing right now with the dust devils? Am I about to change your fucking lives in this game? Yeah. Who's my favorite UFC fighter, mate? If it's not Conor McGregor, who, you know, who else, you know? Charles Sonnen was a badass back in the day. I used to love that fucking guy. Still do. Um, but, yeah, I can't not be a McGregor fan. Too bad. I am. Um, cricket? No, I don't really watch cricket. Ben Askren, of course. There's no debate. Uh, where is Hydra on the list? Hydra's over here. Do you know about the black UFC guy who does Naruto signs during his interviews and ninja runs it onto the canvas? No, but that's fucking hilarious. What are we doing after tier? There's probably some hard crime in progress. Nice sexy hunter, well done. Appreciate the GZ and the Jed Pet. <coughs> How sexy is Bel uh, Bianca Belair from WWE? Don't know. I don't know. Take a brain crusher, you don't need prayer pots while doing dust doubles. Yep, Johnny is on the money. Like I said, sorry. Stop distracting me, guys. Dust Devils. The problem you guys are having with Dust Devils, which I know you're having and you don't realize, is that you're stacking them yourselves and then bursting them. Here's a pro tip when you're doing Dust Devils in the catacombs. Same goes for the neck rails. Let someone else stack them. Find a world of someone bursting them. You run in there and you start bursting those fuckers too. You get that shit out of the fucking way. All right? This task is great, but you know what makes it even better? Getting it over as soon as possible. People will get mad. People will get really fucking salty because you're still in their stack. People that get mad over that shit are fucking idiots, okay? Crash everyone you can on a dust devil task. Absolutely take everything. You don't, you're not there for the loot, okay? You're not killing these guys for the loot. And when you're crashing, you're more than likely going to get the loot because they'll stack and you'll get the first attack off, all right? He will tank for you. You don't use prayer. You crash the fuckers. It's the best way to do the task. And if he cries, you just tell him, I'm doing you a favor because now we're both getting the task done twice as quick. You're both getting fucking kills. You're fucking nailing it. You're getting less XP. You're not there for XP, okay? You're there to get it done. Dust Devils are A tier, and if you're crashing people, you're a fucking legend. And I encourage it more and more. Crashing is good for the game. It, you have to do it. You can't... If people crash you as well, don't get upset. Do not get upset at all. If they crash you, you either hop and find someone else and crash them, okay? It's fucking doggy dog out here in RuneScape. Or, the other alternative is... You sit there and you wait for them to start tanking, okay? But all I do, when I have Dust Devil or Necro, I go to a world and if it's empty, I hop until I find someone. Same at the Kraken, same at Cerberus, same at fucking... When I'm doing fucking AFK Mage right now, I'm trying to burst on Minecraft Monkeys. Monkey Man is 2Ks. I will only do it if there's someone else there. They fucking grab it for me. Easy. You crash, you're a fucking king, okay? What if cunts crash your Hark Ryan, man? Well then, so be it. That's how the game is. People crash my Hark Ryan, man. I don't give a fuck. It depends on what I'm killing and the situation. Hobby Bug Swarm is fucking B. That task is solid F. Nah, Jay. Hobby Bug Swarm. Think about the level you are when you get it. You know? The, the loot is reasonably easy. You can do it all in one task. Very simple. Very solid. Smooth task. Doesn't take a lot of effort. It's one that you should never skip. It's... It's a good task. There's no, uh, there's no debate. There's nothing bad about the Harvey Bug Swarm task except the fact that there isn't a better version at high at the end of the game. It stops there. How do we not see the fucking cow at the top? Uh, yeah, Jay. Oh, because Jay knows that the cow was paid for to be asked here. It's top cack. All right, next cunt. Are these the Infernal Mages? Infernal Mage. All right, you guys know the Infernal Mages. These are F tier. No debate. No questions. Next mob. All right. Um, uh, we got Fossil Island Wyverns here. We've got two of them. Wyvern? Weaven? Wyvern? We've got two of them. We've got the Ancient Wyvern and the Spitting Wyvern. <coughs> These are shit. If you've unlocked them, too bad. You now have to block them. They're shit. They're all shit. The only... Sorry, let me tell that back. The only good thing about them is they're not a big task. So they're going E tier because they are not a huge task. Okay, you should block them, you should skip them, but you should also just go do them, if that makes sense, because they don't take a lot of time to do, okay? But they're shit, okay? They are shit, all right? There's no no other debate. Yeah, they're all shit. They're all, all the Fossil Island Wyverns are shit. You just do them, 
because you accidentally unlocked them and now, well, you're stuck, but it's not a huge task. You got the Visage at 100kc, so you always go do them. The Visage at 100kc should be an indicator to stop doing them. That's it. You're done. You got it. Decent with Lance. No, 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 no. Not decent. Don't do them. Waste of time. Well, yeah, go on with the Lance and finish them quick and get out. They're quick, but yeah, they are shit. It's not It's not the rate you kill them at. It's the, the, the effort you go through to get nothing. To get fucking, what is it, the Numulite shit. Uh, and you can't stare at Zura, Ziliana when you're there. Zilrana? What the fuck is that? Are you trying to say Ziliana? I don't know, mate. You're talking shit. Alright. Cave bug, level 6. These are... Level 6? These are the cunts in the stronghold, right? I don't even know why they're a slayer task. They'd... I mean, I wouldn't skip them. They'd be easy, right? Level 6, that doesn't sound right. I think they're stronger than that. We're going to put them D tier for now because they should be stronger. But, it's, I mean, it's the low it's the low level end of the game. It's shit. You're not going to do it unless you're skipping three tasks to try to get uh, the max points at a fast rate. If you're trying to get real fast slayer points, you just do low level slayer. All the shit down here. That is that is low level, not Necreal and shit. And then you get your fast points. That's that's all that is for D tier and below, really. I sound like Danny McBride. I'll take that as a compliment. Thank you. Shout out to Eastbound and Down. Fucking amazing show. Oh, there's a Swamp K, 5 HP. Oh, even better. There you go. Like I said, Swamp Cave is all dog shit, but uh, yeah, it's just another point part, uh, point task. Hellhounds! Who likes Hellhounds? This doesn't include Cerberus. We're aware of this. This isn't the bosses, okay? This is just the monsters. Worms are only good for fossils. Yeah, but so is everything else on Fossil Island. Got the Visage today from Iron Dragons. You did. Well done. I've got one on Iron Dragons, so it's my Visage of the God. Who's he? And Kenny Powers of RuneScape. Yeah, I'll take that. I'm happy to be the Kenny Powers of RuneScape. Instead of being really fucking good at baseball, I'm just really fucking good at RuneScape. They drop fuck all, but they're so quick. Zero loot. Yeah, you're not killing these for the loot, alright? You go to the you go to the catacombs, you AFK them, or you go to Tavoli and you cannon them. Hellhounds, what I like to I've always loved Hellhounds. Okay, they're really quick. They're easy. They've got no fucking defense. So you can fucking keep them in the cunt, they fall over, they die. They do hit hard, but praying in the catacombs with a bone crusher counters that out nicely. Um, and you can just AFK. You, get, you run in there, let them all get angry. They all hit you, you AFK with Protect from Melee. You walk away from the computer, you come back. You either die from being AFK too long, or you're standing still because they're all dead. Um, I like to do all the clue scrolls I possibly can. And if you get a Smoldering Stone, which is extremely rare, it's a, a nice little addition. Hellhound should always be done. Clue scrolls, the... Hard clue scrolls are excellent content. I almost want to make Hellhounds A tier, personally. For me personally, they're A tier. I'll always do Hellhounds. I'll always AFK them in the catacombs. They're an excellent task just to fucking smash out. Yeah. The hard clues are fucking <whistles> perfect. I think, yeah, Hellhounds are A tier, regardless. And look at the fucking image. Look at the design of this Hellhound. What the fuck is wrong with it, eh? What's with the ears? The horns, sorry. There might be ears with the way how, how fucked it is. They're just, yeah. What a design. Whoever designed that at Jag X, 10 points for creativity. There you go. So, Hellhounds are A tier. You can uh, cannon them in Tavoli as a safe spot. Yep. You can, if you really want to. 200 Abbey Demon tasks, gonna spend a sire. Fucking hell. Fuck that. <laughs> I can barely do a kill at the side before I want to shoot my fucking brains out. What is this? A terror dog? The fuck is a terror dog? Level 100. Where the fuck do you get these from? Oh, it's a Hellhound Gobble's Dungeon, that's why. Okay. Um, Terror Dog. Does anyone know anything about Terror Dog? I was going to say F regardless. Tarn's Lair? Okay, F. No more discussion. Thank you, that's all I needed to know. Skeletal Wyverns. What do you reckon, boys? You're probably thinking A tier. You might almost be right, to be honest. Um, it's just really fucking crowded, and they're really fucking annoying to kill. Are they that good? The loot? I mean, yeah, if you re you don't even have to be super lucky to make a decent amount of money. They're pretty good. Wyverns are pretty good, but they're not, I, I don't think they're A tier, just because, unless you're ranging them at the right distance, 
and the aggro is worn off, it's really a waste of fucking time. I think B tier is probably more appropriate. There's a lot of B in here. Yeah, B for bodded. You can say spot, I know, but it's like... There's still, it's just, you, you spend a long time there. I think B tier, because the loot is good. You know, you can kill wyverns and, you know, be happy with the way the task ends in terms of finances. They are fucking crowded. You have to go upstairs, for sure. Weapons quicker than range too. Yeah, but range is more AFK. Wyvern Visage, you don't get frozen. Yeah, but if you rain, or does that stop you from ranging as well? Yeah, the venues will take all your fucking drops. Waste of time, yeah. They can be a waste of time. Sometimes I skip them. Got two visages from them, less than 500. Fuck, that's alright. That's what. Brutal Blacks. Brutal Black Dragons. Instead of just normal Blacks. Is it a Brutal Black Dragons a task, or is it just Black Dragons? Then you decide whether you want to do Brutals or not. Because it's just Black Dragons, you should be killing the fucking the babies and getting on with it, you know? GZ and the 83 Slayer, Dylan Marshall, well done. Brutal Blacks, I don't think they are uh, S tier. As Black Dragons in general, sorry, it's not really Brutal Blacks, it's just Black Dragons, right? Because there's no task that's just Brutal Blacks, yeah? It's just Black Dragons. Brutals are S tier by themselves. Just Black, you just, yeah. So... Because of because of brutals, you guys want to S tier because you can just AFK and make a lot of money for what sixteen fucking dragon kills. Good on ya. Black dragon tasks are better spent at the baby dragons. Just get the fuck go to Tavly Dungeon, kill the baby dragons, get out. Okay. If you're gonna do brutal blacks, you go for a long time. I mean, I don't think they're S tier. You know, it's not it's not the best task. You don't, it's only, if it was a, a hundred black dragons. It would be a lot better as a task, because then you would seriously make some money. But once the task is over, are you going to stay there? Are you going to get out? I think Brutals are definitely overrated, for sure. Brutals are for lazy cunts. If you do Brutal Black Dragons, you're just a lazy piece of shit. I think B tier is probably acceptable for Black Dragons in general. For a mix of Brutals or Blacks, you kind of bring it together. Um, yeah, that's fair enough, Joe. It's all good. You, I think you can extend them, yeah. You can do KBD. But we're not we're not looking at the boss variants of the dragons. I think 7k C pet, nice poor. Well done. 55 kills a task, one to two mil task. Yeah, or you can just not extend them, get baby black dragons, and that's easy slayer points. That sounds like a better option. I think I think that's a, a better option. I think blue uh, B for for black dragon. B for brutal blacks. Just blacks in general. It's a mix of both. I think because it's either a quick task or a, a money task if you've extended it. But really, if you go kill Brutal Blacks, you're just a fuck another bot, alright? You're just a... You're Venezuelan living out of Venezuela. That's all you're doing. Wyvern's B-list. Nah, cuz S. Nah, man. B. My word is final. What are these? Fever spiders. That sounds like coronavirus. That's F tier. I don't even know what that is. I don't want to discuss it. That looks like shit. They're under in the Sarachnus dungeon now or some shit, right? Fuck them. Red Dragons. If you've unlocked Red Dragons, bad luck. You've just made your Slayer experience worse. Red Dragons. Uh, also F tier. Don't fucking unlock it. Alright. Shit, we're moving quick all of a sudden. Fire Giants. This is a controversial one. Look how fucking swole he is, man. Fire Dragon's looking good, man. Alright. What exactly are you using that many points for? Wait, for what exactly? So... Fire Giants are controversial because I think I've got them blocked at the moment. Just because I kept getting them and I was like, fuck off, because they're a very common task. But they're very, they drop rune skimmies. They're very easy to kill. They're reasonably good XP. They're not very um, tanky, but they do hit like a cunt. And in the catacombs, they're multi combat, so you can just AFK. Um, and they drop a lot of fire runes. You can get a lot of fire runes from these guys very quickly. Um, I think. I don't think they're D tier. I would say C tier. Yeah, no, maybe D tier. I think D tier because their drop table does kind of suck now. It's just the rune skimmy and the fire and the fire runes. And I have got them blocked. I think D tier is more acceptable for fire giants, especially at end game. Okay, end game slayer fire giants. So you get that, you kind of go, oh, you know, that's that's your when you get fire giants, whether you like them or not, you get that as a task, and your reaction is, oh, okay. There's no hype. And there's definitely a little bit of disappointment in there. So I think D tier for, uh, for D for disappointment is perfect. 
Not even if you max combat, if you just higher level combat. Cow at the top of the list, why am I not surprised? It's the only fucking thing up there at S tier. At the moment, Slayer is shit because uh, cows are the only fucking task to get. Got two chance scrolls from Fire Giants, and then blocked them because they got assigned way too much. Yeah, that's the thing there. I think they're too common. All right. Kurask, I like Kurask. Kurask are good, okay? Very easy, you can do a whole task there because they don't fucking hit at all. Um, you can take like two prey potions, a bit of food, you're fucking done. Then you can take the SGS to these guys. I know you can't hit them, but if you spec and you hit a zero, but you technically rolled a 30, but because it's not leaf bladed, it hits zero, you still get healed for that 30 and you pray back. So take your SGS to these in the tour off all the time if you've got it. If you've got Guthans, you're a fucking idiot, sell it. Um, the drops are great, plenty of white berries, Plenty of oh, flax, papaya, coconuts. Papaya and coconuts in these guys are excellent. Excellent for farming, okay? Really good for uh, farming. So you want to you want to do your Kuros, Kuros task. And I know we're not taking on the superior variants, but he's a big boy, okay? That doesn't count. We're not factoring that into here though, okay? I just want to say he's a big boy. Kuros got A tier, okay? The A tier, because I, there, there is a lot of them. The only reason they're not S tier, if the task was smaller, I'd be happier because you do spend a, f a bit of time there, but you make a lot of money, you get good resources. The flax drops are fucking annoying, and the bone drops are actually really annoying as well. The the noted bones, they're fucking weird. But there would be S tier if I was less, if it wasn't leaf bladed weapons only. But take a battle axe there, ultimate fucking strength weapon. You're good. Kuras, good fucking task. Why is the beginner slayer master not anywhere near Lummy? He's in Draenor now, isn't he? New one. Good luck on the pet or harpoon there, Jamie. How come Firewatch aren't on the list? Um, ask Jay, not me. Gargoyles. Now, how many of you think Gargoyles are S tier? Let's see how many of you are wrong. And how many of you do Gargoyles with Guthans? How many of you are wrong? We're not talking about the boss, just the Gargoyles in general. In the, in the Slayer Tower, bottom floor. D tier, C tier, triple S. Not a chance, I'd say C. Overrated, B. Alright, cool. We got a. Obviously, if you're doing gargoyles and you haven't got the automatic uh, stone hammer thing unlocked, you're probably running low on brain cells. You need to fix that shit straight away. You block gargoyles. Wow, I wouldn't go that far. Um, so, gargoyles, you need the auto hammer. We're not going to talk about the superior variant or the boss, just the gargoyle itself. I think are a great task, but man, it is slow. Some of the drops are absolute fucking nonsense. Gold bars. They drop good GP stacks. They The superior isn't a bitch, you're just fucking shit at the game. The superior is easy, just hit him and move. Not fucking hard. Pray range, hit him once, fucking move, and then hit him again and move again. AT of Proselyte, yeah. If you take the, the... The thing is, I think the Gargoyle... A lot of you people find the Gargoyle... Low tier. Um, I think it's reasonably good. I see a lot of people doing it wrong, though. People take the bludgeon to the Gargoyle. You shouldn't. You should take a whip to Gargoyles. Just take a whip. You know why? Because you save yourself 22 fucking mil. Okay? You don't need to take Garthens to Gargoyles, alright? Take Proselyte. And take, like, fucking six prayer potions. Okay? You know why? You save yourself five fucking mil. You get it all done just as quick, just as easily, alright? So, gargoyles are being done wrong by people. Um, you can do grotesque, but we're not here to talk about that. We're talking about if grotesque didn't exist, pre-grotesque era. Um, I think gargoyles are probably... Do I, I don't skip many, gar, many gargoyle tasks. I always come out like with a good amount of money. But damn, it's fucking crowded. Um... I think I would like to put them at B tier because I would definitely take them over the Abyssal Demon, Adamant Dragon, Blue Dragons without Vorkaf. I think B tier is acceptable for Gargoyles. They're not as bad as you think, but you have to not spend such a ridiculous amount of money and just fucking B's fair. I think B's fair. 40 hours of wood cutting left for a late Karen. Wait, why? 40? Fucking hell, it's a lot of wood cutting. Well, good luck. I'm glad you're getting your elite done, man. Good job. 
Fucking champion. Cave crawlers. This is another Lumbridge uh, swamp cancer patient, right? Why am I doing that? This thing is going straight to the fucking E list with no questions asked. Because it's just more shit. It's more low level shit that really, at low level Slayer, you're only gonna get assigned it two or three times and be thankful it's fucking over. Chaos Druid, the same situation really. These are just, these are only good in Trailblaze, right? Every other time doing them is really obsolete. How often are you getting assigned Chaos Druid? Almost never. Um, it's not really like, um, it's good low level content. Yeah, but you're only doing it two or three tasks in your account's life and then that's it. Chaos Druid's S tier? It's for the herb drops, really, hey, I mean... Yeah, well... Uh, I maybe B... Maybe... It's hard because I never had many Chaos Druid tasks. You don't get them very often, so I don't know if it's worth making this. It's, is it a good task? You barely ever fucking do it, but you always do it when you do. Does that make it B or A? I, don't, I wouldn't say it's S. You know, that's it's not cow tier shit. Then the Fremy Dungeon too. I know they're in the unit. Yeah, C for Chaos Druid. C, C does sound suitable. Might as well do it off task. That's the other thing. Justin's got a good point, you know. As a Slayer monster, they can't, it's nonsense really, isn't it? They do no damage, drop Ranars at 12. C? Everyone's happy with C? Same as Earthwire? Yeah? Valid point. Alright. Alright. Chaos Druid at C. There's a good boy. Alright, what do we got left over here? We've got the Smoke, Devil, and the Hydra. Alright. You can skull trick. Oh, doing it in the wilderness? Yeah, but... Oh yeah, you can do them in the wilderness, hey, skull tricking people. Yeah, you can, but fuck that. It's a waste of time. Amazing for low level Iron Man? Yep. Perfect C tier then. Smoke Devils. Um, not including the boss, just the Smoke Devil. Get a cannon, get it done, get out. The drops are reasonable. They're probably a B tier, but I fucking hate doing them at the same time. They're quick. When the, when the Slayer task is quick and I fucking hate doing it and still skip it, even though I know it would take me less than an hour to do, you've got a problem. You know? It is good XP. Yeah, it is good XP. Um, what do you mean left out chickens? Chickens are here, mate. It, uh, D tier. Um, I think, I think these are... Smoke Devils, I think I'm gonna put B tier, because it is quick, it is easy XP, I'm just a lazy cunt, all right? And Hydra, this is not the alchemical Hydra, this is the little Hydras outside, okay? This is the little Hydras, guys. Um, these are simply annoying shit. Every Hydra task I've had, I've done the boss, though. So, I've only done a few of these kills, and I was like, eh. Alright, I don't think they're super amazing, but they're not really bad. It is, it's a great alternative for the boss, because the boss can be tedious as fuck. So I'm happy to put these at B as well. Hydras are themselves good content, but if I'm skipping them, it's because I really can't be fucked. These A tier tasks are tasks I would almost never skip, you know? Except Dust Devils I normally would skip sometimes, but the crashing potential on those is so fucking good. That I skip it because I'm fucking brain dead. Okay? I think Hydra B tier is fair. But you might think that's the end of the list. Don't worry, guys, there's more. Because we couldn't fit them all here. So we have a few more boys to put out here. Some juicy boys. Why is Jad here? That's a boss. Oh no, that no, that Jad that stands for um Tzar as a whole. The Jad one, alright? So that doesn't, that's uh, does that count as boss still? Maybe we'll have it twice, we'll have it twice. I'll, I'll do Jad twice. All right, that can go away. In there. All right, so this Jad will make it a little bit smaller. This is just Tazar in general, not Jad himself, all right? All right, so Steel Dragons. Boys, who, who here loves doing Steel Dragons? If you say yes, you're a lying piece of shit. You block that as fast as you can. The second you get skilled dragons, you block. No matter where you are, who you are, you block it. All right, that stays on your block list indefinitely. Steel dragons are always blocked, for sure. 
Iron Dragons, however, not so bad because they're really easy. They're not as tanky. You can AFK them with the Trident. Very good spot. Iron Dragons. Wait, what happened to Marek? The AFK with a Lance and fairly quick. You're talking about the Hydras, right? Can you send us the image after? I can send you guys my tier list after, for sure. Oh, and central bo oh, ancestral bonds you got on them, Tanya? Nice. Fucking well done. Fuck yeah. Yeah, I'll send I'll send images of all my tier lists later and um put them in the Discord so you guys can access them. If you're not in the Discord, Jay, can you drop a fat fucking link for your boy? And um Yeah, that way people can join it who haven't. Steel's not great. Slay a dart and go do something else. Yeah, pretty much. You did steal once, worse ever. Yeah, steel's a fucking horrible, but irons are good. Oh, you got A7 range now? Nice one. Well done. They're not bad, you just got a Visage, yeah. And irons are a lot quicker to kill and in a better AFK spot, but there's only two of them in the catacombs. These get a lot better when you've done your Crown Jewel Elite and you get the noted iron bar drops because, I mean, it's noted iron bars. Why not? Iron dragons are more C tier because it's quick, it's easy, it's AFK. It's not bad for easy slayer points, okay? You can't complain about them. Still dragons are fucking bad, yeah. If you have a dragon hunter crossbow and I still skip uh, metal dragons, all metal dragons. Yeah, I wouldn't use dragon hunter crossbow on them anyway. Fucking use mage. It's way better. Easy peasy to try them. Uh, avian seas. Avian seas you should absolutely unlock. The only problem you guys are going to have because, you know, there's 121 of you all and let's say 100, 118 of you all are all probably fucking horse shit at this game. Um, just to, you know, statistics. You probably haven't got noted agency bars because you haven't done your fucking diaries. So, they're the Fremenic diaries, it's like hard diaries. Once you get them done, agencies become your new best friend. I know that, uh, was it 25 buttholes, I think it was, exposed the bots that are going on down there at the moment. It's been the, this has been one of the greatest money makers for a long time. You go to agencies, even Ostask, and you make fucking bank. Do your Fremenic hard diaries, unlock agencies. Once you get it, wear an Armadal and a Zamrak piece, go to the Gold Wars dungeon outside Armadal's room, and you kill these motherfuckers for bank money. They are A tier, okay? Guarantee it. Get that done as soon as you can, because that is some serious fucking Slayer content, agencies. There's no, no hesitation, all right? Lizard men. This is shamans and lizard men as a whole. Why do agencies when you can do Kree? Even better, do, do Kriara, even better. I've, I did her on Slayer Tars. You can do like 16 kills in a run solo with a armadillo crossbow and bolts without chins if you're fucking good. Kree is very easy to solo, very good. So if you're not, if not, you get avian you make bank money. Either way, you make money doing avian Excellent task. Um, lizard men, shamans, and mini ones. My personal opinion, I think lizard men and shamans are fucking horrible. I think they're cancerous. You go to the Slayer Cave and do them, you can do it in that temple, but let's be honest, the Slayer Cave is way better. Um, Lizardman Shamans for a Lizardman task. Everyone raves over the, dra the Dragon Warhammer and we'll do them off task to just to farm a Dragon Warhammer. See, Shaman for Dragon Warhammer, Normals for Teeth, and Telly Herbrand. See, no, I don't think saying I kill Shamans with one Dragon Warhammer is a valid excuse at all. That's not saying I kill fucking Iron Dragons just because I want a Visage. No, I know the price difference is different, but it's the same fucking bullshit, alright? Only Iron Man should do shamans. If you're a normal player and you're doing shamans, you're a fucking idiot. Buy a ba Bandos Ghost Sword, okay? It is just as effective, if not more effective, at the majority of fucking content you use it at, alright? I'm telling you now, shamans are not worth your time unless you're Iron Man, and even then, yeah, Bandos is the cunt to farm. Normal lizard men are good though, because it makes the task really quick. You just smash the task out, you get it done. That's why it's gone C tier. Okay, normal lizard men is how you should do all your fucking slayer tasks, regardless. No fucking questions. 260 kills, one dragon warhammer. Yeah, I got mine in about maybe a similar KC as well. I was at work, bored, so I was killing him. 6k shaman kills, no hammer. See, Centurion, that's exactly my point. You, no offense, mate, but you're a fucking idiot. That's 6,000 shaman kills you've wasted your fucking time on. That's that. Is it worth it? No. Had two dragon warhammer drops, took a few weeks straight there. Yes, it's fucking, it's not worth it. It's not worth it at all. Not worth your fucking time. Cow fights. Now, this is all cow fights, not including the queen. Cow fights are excellent. You should always do your cow fights. Take your cannon straight. As soon as you enter the cave, either cave, go to the workers, the little level 28. Set your cannon up. Sit there. Pull your dick for about five minutes. 
task done. Cowfight, excellent content. Very well done. Thank you, Jagex, for the easy Slayer points. Cowfights can be done in fucking 10 minutes with a cannon. Not literally 10 minutes, okay, let's be realistic. Half an hour, you get it done. Easy peasy. Friend got two of an 800. Yes, is that what you're trying to compare yourself with your friend? RNG doesn't work that way, unfortunately, mate. Shamans are adequate for their non Warhammer drops, like C or D tier. I'm happy with C tier, but yeah, shamans, it's, you're better off just doing Lizzie Man shamans and spending your time slaying other shit. <laughs> Who's this cunt? Hill Giants. Not including Obor. Hill Giants are. I mean, at what point are you doing Hill Giants for Slayer? Level 40? Iron Man content. Hill Giants aren't half bad. You probably should never skip them. The tasks aren't that big. I think it's like 60, between 40 and 60 kills for Hill Giants. It's pretty good content. There's not really anything wrong with killing Hill Giants. We've all been there. We've all sat there killing them. Gets, yeah, you get them, you get it done. You're not really, you're not hoping for much, but it's at a low level. You know? It's another Harpy Bug Swarm. You get it done, it's easy stuff. A tier for noobs, C tier uh, for speed of, for normals. I think B tier is suitable for Hill Giants, 100%. I think they're they're good content. There's no, there's there's more pros than uh, pros, pros, pros than cons for them. Hill Giants are over. We're not doing bosses uh, on this list. This is just the monsters themselves, which leaves us with no. So the Jad is just um, Tazar in general. Bup Tattoo went 250 channel members. Jetsy. 250 channel members, we get the Bup Tattoo. We're almost at the 200 mark to hit the uh, Monster Drop Party. If you want to help the cause, join in. It's 80% uh, cheaper than a Twitch sub. Gets my dick card, and you get a nice golden plate body next to your name in the chat. See all the bronze and iron plate bodies? Easy peasy. Alright, so... Lava Dragons. I mean, you really shouldn't be doing them as a Slayer task. But you're doing Wildy Slayer, so if you do Wildy Slayer, you're looking for it. You're asking for it. They're slow. It's very slow, you know. It's a big task. It's a big risk. Oh, no, it's not a big task, but it's a big risk. It's it's a slow task. They're not really worth your time. I uh, Lava Dragons in general, let's be honest. What's up, Amity? I don't, I don't think... I don't think... I don't think Lava Dragons are worth your time almost ever doing even just like afk unless you are trying to ma level mage level three which then you're a fucking idiot so i think these guys get d tier for sure lava dragons they're not really there's nothing special about them the bones are cool bury them on the island wow look at you go you're just gonna fucking buy yourself to 99 prayer anyway who are you impressing is youtube trimming armor for us now yeah uh, my channel is trimming armor for you trust me this is one armor trimming meme that is not a scam when you join the channel membership you get your armor trimmed and you get your name trimmed in the discord channel so you can spit on all the red names and the Scott McClellans in the Discord that don't have their yellow name yet. That's the true perks right there. And you can also spell the word cunt in the chat with your emojis, bypassing YouTube's filter. Easy peasy. Love Jang is just a noob trap early on. Yeah, pretty much. Now, this Jad... Can I, um... Where's my effects? This Jad's gonna have a special color. Alright, it's going to be purple. Well, not that fucking bad, Jesus. Okay, this Jad is going to be... This is just Tzar in general. This is not choosing the Jad option. This is just choosing the Tzar... Slayer task. Um, when you get offered to choose Jad or the, the boys in the village. If that's the case... E. You're a dumbass. There's no debate. You should not have chosen that. Okay? Don't try to question it at all. It's not worth the XP. It's not worth the time. It's not worth the money. How do we feel about this for our Slayer Monster tier list so far? Copy and make it, Jad, too? Already done it, Jay. Already done it. How do you guys feel about it? You happy? <laughs> the, only, <laughs> the only monster that's really worth your time is fucking Cow. It almost, this basically almost says... That Slayer, nothing is absolutely worth your time in Slayer. <laughs> there is no S tier Slayer monster. Okay. A tier is worth your time, but you'd still skip them if you really, really didn't want to do them. Ah, <laughs> oh, you follow this list with blind faith. Good, good. Now, 
Firewatch need cre uh, creating and put in S tier. No. They can be created, but they won't be going in S tier. No fucking way. Um, now, we have got a little summon summon for you guys too. We have got more Slay Monsters because, of course, there are some missing. They are the bosses. So we have got some bossy boys that we can throw on here, right, guys? Do not worry. There's still content. Let's make this Jad just as big as everyone else's. Oh, no. Just Jad, please. All right, so we got a few. We got a few more boys now to put on there. They're going to stay this size. And we're going to... Okay, now I'm going to make them a bit smaller. All right, because I've got to make them fit. All right? Some of them are Slayer-only bosses. Some of them are worth uh, uh, alternatives. This is why you don't decide whether it's the boss as well, okay? So now we can have a discussion on where they sit. And if it's worth your time doing at all, okay? This is the bonus meme for the tier list, okay? When you watch PewDiePie's meme review and you get bonus meme once every never, this is it, okay? This is that cream your pants sort of shit right here. The five-headed Hydra, Vorkaf. We're gonna get a lot of people wanting Vorkaf and F tier for sure. Okay, all right. Cow remains king of the hill, sure does, 100%. All right. All the same monsters are just the grind to get the boss to get the bosses money makers. Yeah, pretty much. What song is this? This is Work Work Work. Uh, I think it's a gnome song in game. Work 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 from RuneScape on the playlist on the Yeah, it is good. On the um whatever it is. The the music list. Who ate the your little Easter eggs? Uh, not me. Probably Zach. I didn't eat them. They were here. They were here for you and Zach, Dylan. So, not me. Why are you here, Dylan? You want to jump in the channel membership? Yeah. Make it 193. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty good song. Hey. Doesn't eat chocolate. Well, it wasn't me. Check Lockie then. I didn't eat them either. That shit. It wasn't me, mate. I don't eat that shit. My egg's still in the fucking fridge, mate. Then come here and try it. It wasn't me, mate. You're on the other side of the house. Why don't you fucking come here and talk to me rather than fucking message me on my fucking stream? You left the wrappers in the box. What are you talking about? <laughs> all I've got left is like half a big egg or some shit. That's all mine, dude. <laughs> uh, whatever, mate. Alright. Sorry, before I was rudely interrupted. <laughs> can we get cheeky, can we get a cheeky M-words, King? What do you mean, you want cheeky M-words? You want me to say, <laughs> you want me to call you guys Jet cheeky M-words? no discussion. Jad ST, no discussion. I sure appreciate the five dollars. I guess you're paying for it. Let's go through Jad first. I would put Jad S tier, to be honest. I think Jad is always worth your time. Now, there's two, there's only one, um, one meme behind it, is that if you choose Jad, you can walk into the fight caves and walk straight back out. And you can actually skip the task. It skips the task. There's no issues there. So I put Jad as S tier. Personally, I do anyway. Thank you for the five dollars, Alex Jewel, but you didn't have to tell me. Trust me, you didn't have to pay for it. It was already going there. Uh, Chicken McSizzle. What sort of fucking name is that? Appreciate it, dude. Welcome to the channel membership. You're a good boy. Make sure you leave a screenshot of that um, and put it into the channel membership under channel membership verification on the Discord. Um, and we'll give you a juicy golden name as well as the golden bronze play body next to your name right there. By the way, this song also slaps hard. It's called Fee Fi Fo Fum. It's when you're versing the boss of uh, Grim Tales. It's fucking gangster. Good job, Jagex. Uh, yeah, Jad is S tier because he's very easy. Very, very easy to kill. I have no issues killing Jad. I can do it fucking blindfolded every day. And I got the fucking pet yesterday, boys. Come on. I fucking got the pet. So, that's it, you know? Gotcha, the pet, that's that's all that matters. Jad is S tier. My decision is final. Dylan, join the channel membership. Don't be gay. Stop selling my car. <laughs> uh, Ethan Maynard as well joining the channel membership. Thank you very much. Welcome to the club. Welcome to my empire. Make sure you send that picture in the Discord. Let them know. Here's a Discord link, just so in case you guys aren't in here. Where's the link? Right fucking here. Get in there. I didn't, wasn't, I didn't eat your Easter eggs, mate. 
Ask Lockie. Ask Zach. I don't know what you're talking about, to be honest. What's going on, Hunter? How you doing? Ask the stream. Ask the ask the guys in the chat. All right. I've got 115 people here. 114 people here that'll back me because they haven't seen me eat Easter eggs on fucking stream. All I've done is drink beer out of a shoe. All right. Oh, shut the fuck up. What the fuck are you guys doing? <laughs> I thought you guys had my back. You fuckers. What the fuck? Oh my god. Alright, this chat is fucking dead. You guys are all dead to me. For now on... Nah. I don't even know what to say. I've been absolutely fucking backstabbed by the people I thought that would support me. Look at that. You guys don't even know who this Dylan Booth guy is. Fucking hell. He shooed the Easter eggs. <laughs> fucking hell. Snitches get stitches. That's right. I'm going to start timing out every one of you motherfuckers. Thank you, Tyler. Gonads. Tracy will surely stick up for me, hey? Gonads hasn't even been in stream. This is his first stream in like two weeks. <laughs> Do you stand by the fact that Italy Rock has Corona patients beneath it in the jazz room? Well, yeah. That's why their skeletons are all dead. Dylan gifted me my first ever sub to you on Twitch. He okay there? Oh, shit. Fuck, that's a long time ago. He did gift a lot of subs, to be fair. Melted the chocolate and shoot. <laughs> Scott, your opinion doesn't matter. Shut up. <laughs> For fuck's sake. My chat has betrayed me. For the last time. I'm a fool in a man's shoes. I'm gonna have to do the Cerberus boss to hide the pain. Cerberus, as a boss, where does he sit? Give me your opinion, guys. Where do you want, uh... Where do you want Cerberus to sit? <laughs> Like the stream, cunts. I oh, appreciate the fat five there, Alex Jewel. Make sure you guys uh, drop a like on the stream for your boy Alex. And drop a fat nut in the chat if you're a channel member. Thank you, Alex. The damn phone died, got back. I'm the egg master. No, I didn't eat the eggs. Stop. Alright. Yeah, my Twitch stuff. Is this Twitch stuff still going? Fucking hell. I haven't streamed on Twitch in like six months. I have to have an Easter Bunny locked account for now. All right, fair enough. C for Cerberus. C, he sits anywhere because anywhere he's a good boy. Cerberus, uh, he fucks me off uh, when he dropped the Smoldering Stone. I've not had a Smoldering Stone from him. I've had everything else. I've had like six or maybe four from Mortal Crystal or something. Can I get, uh, get like 12 kills per trip? Pretty good for the boss. Yep. Yeah, six dislikes. Yeah, that's just the meme. Keep it going. Serb C tier. Well, Jamie, you were against me with the eggs. Your opinion doesn't fucking matter. You're dead to me for the rest of the stream. How you doing, Major Raw Doggin? B, because he's a good boy. Kill Jed in the Easter Bunny outfit. Okay, done. I can do that. I'll do it tomorrow. Um, Cerberus. Now, the best part about Cerberus is crashing people there. Okay, the only way, the way you get pit over Cerberus, doesn't matter who's already in there, it's whoever logged into that world first. If you have the better uh, registered ID to the world, so as, when you log in, you, you get a, an ID that you can't see and they give you priority over certain shit. One of them is the Cerberus spawn. So when he spawns, he will favor the guy who logged in first. So if you are on a world, you go in there, someone's already there, chances are he's hopped to that world, you've got a better ID than him, you can walk in and take that room straight from under his hands, no fucking worries, okay? His drops are fucking horrible, unless you get a good stone drop, which really there's only two, which is the, well no, three. The Pegasian one's fucking steaming pile of shit. Um, yeah, he's very easy to kill. If you have trouble switching your prayers with Cerberus, that's not Cerberus' fault that you're fucking bad. The, there's no issue, what are you talking about? Appreciate joining the channel membership there, Dylan. Nice golden bronze G plate body. Welcome to the club. Thank you very much. And Snoop Dogg, thank you for the, uh, wait, hold on. Hold on, I got two donations with one, hold on. So Snoop Dogg sent five fat ones. Uh, it's been proven by science that if you don't support King Condor, being a member or joining the Big Dick Energy Discord, you are gay. All right, well, Snoop Dogg said it best, boys. Fair five dollars. Thank you for joining the channel membership as the cheekiest of noobs. And Jamie, thank you for the fat two pounds, but there's no Easter apples under my chair. You fucking snitch. Now, Cerberus. Shit drops unless you get a unique. Very easy to kill. 
people find him hard because they're fucking bad, he can be B tier. Okay? I would honestly rather kill Hellhounds over Cerberus on maybe 80% of the tasks. Or I would do a little bit of Cerberus, then go to the rest of Hellhounds. That's a simple way to put Cerberus. Okay? Doesn't modern ID change every minute now? I don't know if it changes every minute, and if that's the case, that makes crashing even easier, right? Uh, can you get mole zippers uh, from the big mole or just clue scrolls? Just clue scrolls, Hunter. Not from the mole. Thermonuclear smoke devil. I did a guard on this recently. You guys know how it is. This boss is fucking terrible. You are better off just doing the, um, where are the, where are the little ones? Here, you're better off doing these ones, okay? Take a cannon there and do them. So this boss cannot possibly sit above them. The boss is alright. Everyone's guides on them are fucking shit. Asuka Yen has brain damage. I don't know why he's got a 20 minute guard on how to kill a boss that takes 30 fucking seconds. Um, but the boss is crashable, which is why it is fun to do. So if you want a bit of fun, if you want to spice up your thermonuclear smoke devil experience, what you do is you go there and you crash every fucking cunt you can. Um, that always makes it fun, being toxic. So you get C, okay? C tier for crashing potential. Um, and I got the pet at 1kc on this guy off task, so he's got a special place in my heart, regardless. C tier. I got 1kc before I got the task, you get 1kc for your um, diary. Got the kill, Jay can confirm it. Got the pet. I've got a screenshot somewhere, i have to find it one day. I'm missing some fucking chat here, sorry. Smoldering went up because of Tempros. It did, which is why it's currently worth it. Uh, Connor, why do, you, why do I get the feeling your brother is taller and more muscular than you? Well, because he's older than me. Who has a 20 minute guide? I, suck again. I think it's like 16 minutes. It's something inappropriately long. I don't think it's exactly 20 minutes, but it's longer, it's longer than it needs to be. Made about, you made 10 infernal harpoons not knowing you can recharge them. That's embarrassing. <laughs> Rest in peace. It's fun declaw crashing. Yeah, declaw crashing both Cerberus. Oh, well, you can't do it to Cerberus once the fight started, but Thermonuclear Smoke Devil? Yeah, definitely. Pretty sure they updated IDs to change every minute or so because of the scamming at Desert Casino, which uh, used the lower IDs to get first hits. Oh, there you go. Well, then that makes crashing even easier at Cerberus. That's, that's even better then. Uh, I was using the old method then. Well, Cerberus, change every 60 seconds, I'm good. Wait 60 seconds, try again. But yeah, logging in, if you log in, if someone hops world, they're going to have a lower ID than you anyway, so you can take it um, from Cerberus. That's, I guess it's the same mechanic. If it's all within a minute, it'll work. Uh, the regular Smoke Devils are amazing, amazing Star XP. Yep, they are. That's why they're a rank above. The Kraken. Um, now, the Kraken, I rate the Kraken higher than the little Krakens, okay? One, because crashing with the Kraken, if you've seen the Moleman Chronicles, is some of the best shit to do in this game. People get so fucking mad. Iron Man hate it. Iron Man absolutely hate it, and I rate it 100%. Max your magic accuracy and DPS, go to the Kraken and crash everyone you can. And don't say anything, just crash. If, you, if they've got a problem, you send them to my channel, okay? You send them here, you let them know that I sent you, okay? You have my permission to drop my name and channel anytime you crash someone and they complain. Please use it. Just fucking spam people with it. But, other than that, the Kraken actually doesn't have the worst drop tables, it's just got some real shit loot in there that really fucking gets you. <sighs> but I fucking hate this boss. I've done like maybe a thousand something kills, maybe one and a half thousand kills, and I fucking hate it. It's mage only, but requires range for the tentacles, it's really annoying. I don't think it's A tier. I would happily skip a Kraken task any day of the week. But, I also really enjoy crashing people. I want to put it B tier. I think Kraken boss is B tier for sure. Yeah, the Mole Man sends his regards. Just say that. If they ask what, you send him here. Crashing at Catholic Queen is funnier than Kraken? Oh yeah, 100%. King sent me, take it off him. Yep, that's it. Grotesque Guardians. When this came out, I was in love. I love Grotesque Guardians. And I like now even more that they have sped up the process of actually killing it. Like the transitions are slower, are not as slow now. It's no longer forced to be a two minute boss. You can get the kills done faster. The loot is pretty good for mid tier Slayer. To be honest, it's a lot. It's a high. It's a high level boss to kill for mid tier loot. I haven't got the pet yet, but the pet looks fucking sick. And when dusk turns into dusk and dawn, he looks like a fucking Chad. 
This is the most alpha male shit I've seen in a boss in a while. Um, I prefer it over gargoyles. The XP you get from this, if you do, you have to really unlock the thing where it's two kill, two gargoyle kills per, 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 um, kill. Otherwise, you're gonna be there for fucking ever. And it's a lot of, it's a lot of XP though that you get. I think it's B tier as well as gargoyles, to be honest, because it can really fucking drag out. If it was, if the guardian boots were better and there was more money involved, if the drop table was a bit better, sure. It is a good boss, but I, I don't I don't think it's something that is I will, I will skip it on a good day. Learn GG from your guides. I've oh, got greatest guns from guides. Over 600 KC now. Fuck yeah. You need the pet? Get it. It's a good pet. You block Kraken? Only block the Kraken once you've done the collection log. I know you can mage the tentacles with your like with your tr trident, for example, but that's four casts you're wasting on your trident. If you could do a hundred kills, that's four hundred trident charges you're wasting to waste to wait the Kraken up. You take a hunter's crossbow with your cabot bolts. That way it's one-handed. And you just shoot those fuckers. It's easier. It is a top-tier pet, for sure. Yeah, the Grotesque Guardian pet? Yeah, definitely. Does the XP increase if you get double kills? No, it just gets the task done quicker. That's the trade-off. Uh, Abyssal Sire. This cunt has net. I've got like 150 kills, and I haven't got an unsired. The um Abyssal Sire is fucking horse shit. The Abyssal Sire is bad. The Abyssal Sire is fucking stupid. It is a stupid boss. It's going fucking E tier. I don't like the Abyssal Sire at all. It's a disappointment to this game. Fuck the Abyssal Sire. I don't care. It's fucking stupid. Vorkaf. I wanna... Yeah, okay. Vorkaf. I know... What do you think of Vorkaf? I mean, instead of Blue Dragons, you do Vorkaf, right? You make bank. It's very easy to do. But it's long, it's annoying. Vorky S? I don't know if Vorky is S. Is Vorkaf a guaranteed you're gonna do Vorkaf every time you get a blue dragon task? Every time you get blue dragons, you go, sweet, uh, 211 Vorkaf kills. And you go do them with a big smile on your face the whole fucking time? Fuck no. Fuck no. A tier sounds more like it. You guys seriously will do that. You will seriously. You guys haven't even fucking finished Dragon Slayer 2. Don't tell me yes. You don't fucking know what you're talking about, okay? All these non-channel members coming here. Yeah, I do, I do. You don't know what you're talking about. Who the fuck is that guy? Trust me. If you're getting a blue dragon task, 214 blue dragons. You go, yay, Volkar. I'm going to get my dragon hunter crossbow and my dragon hunter lance. And I'm going to start stabbing and shooting this cunt. And then three days in, you're gonna be like, oh, the Dragon Hunter Lance is crashing. Oh no, I've lost fucking four mil on my bank value. Oh, better go back to Vorkaf. Didn't get the pet. No, that's not S tier content, okay? I would rather do Jado with Vorkaf. Vorkaf gets A because it is fucking good content. Don't get me wrong, it's really good money. And it is fun, boss. But not 214 kills in a row fun. 12k kills, still love doing it. Marek, you've got fucking problems in the head, man. Fucking hell. Jesus Christ. Nobody kills Vorkov on task? That's the other problem. You do it too much. Nah. Uh, it, for a Slayer task? No. Vorkov is not S tier. I will give him A tier. Yeah. Wait, you'll do you'll do 20 and then go do Brutals. No, Ethan. Do 20 and then go do Normal Blues. Don't do Brutal Blue Dragons. That's the biggest waste of fucking time. Brutal Blues, are, only Brutal Blacks are worth your time. And even then, they're fucking overrated as shit. Fork is S because with Elite Fremenic Diary, you can tell you they're so quick. Yeah. Um, I mean, that doesn't really define what makes something S tier, but that is a very good fuck. If you haven't got your Elite Fremi Diaries and you're doing Vorkaf, especially 12k Vorkaf kills, I don't know Merrick, but if you haven't done your Elite Fremenic Diaries, guys, you don't really know what the true experience of doing Vorkaf is. Literally just teleporting there instantly without having to do any other, any other method is horseshit once you have your Elite Fremenic Diaries done. It'll change your fucking life. You'll get like an extra two kills a trip as well if you really want to get sweaty. Uh, an, an hour, sorry, not a trip. I don't say yay before I do literally anything in RuneScape. I don't say yay before I do literally anything in RuneScape. That doesn't even make fucking sense, Darag Rafferty. Darag Raff Rafferty? Don't know what you're talking about, mate. You spent seven years in hospital with nothing else to do. Interesting. Walk us. Not been out that long, but that's still. Hope you're okay spending seven years in hospital. What a life. Hope things aren't 
as bad as they seem to be right now, just from seeing that message. Just jumped in, how come next is only A? Next isn't even A. That's my answer. Hey, I'm glad you love the content, Ryan, appreciate that. Make sure you guys jump in that Discord. There should be a link in the description, as well as Jay probably dropping one in a sec. It's good fucking content. Uh, Scatizo, this boss is, um, anytime I get a black demon, greater demon task, I will do Scatizo 100% first. I will straight up just go, use all my turns on Scatizo, then I'll fuck off and do something else. Scatizo is excellent for Slayer. You should always save your totems until you have a black demon or greater demon task. It counts for both. Save your totems until you have the Slayer task, then go do it. Just because you get, it, it's just, it's good Slayer XP, you know? You don't get to do it very often. Um, it's got a good drop table. It's a pretty fun boss. It's not too difficult to do. Well, it's not difficult at all to do, but it's not that the mechanics are like, you have to kind of pay attention. You can't just AFK it. Um, and obviously the Arclight makes it better. And if you've seen my Scatizo guide, you know it's a fucking banger when you forget your fucking Arclight. So Scatizo is also A tier because you should always, always do him. Actually, is he S tier for Slayer? People argue that, but then again, you're not doing a whole task of Scatizo. You're only doing what you can. You save up your totems. You should always do it. There's, real, there's never a time when you shouldn't. A tier, I'm happy at A tier, I don't think S tier. If he was easy, if you could do it more often, yeah, but yeah. Yeah, easy and fun to do, yeah, that's it. Cake boss, pretty much, yeah. I wasn't asking for a GZ, just answering uh, his thing about where he got the 12k kills from. <laughs> no worries, mate, you're good. Uh, uh, Skatiza pet is S tier, yeah, the pet is S tier. 2 and 10k, is fucking hell. You want B tier, Jay? I think A tier is more appropriate. He's a good boss. Uh, Hydra. The Hydra would be a better boss if it gave me a fucking claw, for fuck's sake. Um, I did a lot of these. I got 99 range on these. These are very good range XP, very good slow XP. I would do the Hydra boss over the normal Hydra any day of the fucking week. It's the best money maker when it comes to Slayer. There's no debating. It's excellent XP uh, for both Slayer and range. I think... Um, it might actually be S tier. Eight claws and four KC. Fucking hell. Not bad. Not bad. Do it, I don't know if he. I think Jad might be the only S tier Slayer, Slayer monster. I don't. I don't know if Hydra. I think Hydra is still A because I. You know. Jad gives you twenty five K Slayer XP. That's that's one of the many many perks. The extra pet chance. I already got the fucking pet yesterday. It's a big dick, easy kill. Pretty quick slay task. And you get slay XP for everything building up to it. I think Hydra consider A nicely. Hydra's my very first RuneScape guide. Because I saw Mr. Mammal's Abyssal side guide and thought, wow, this is shit. I can do better than that. T-boat, lands, blowpipe. Um, yeah, I just blowpipe the whole thing. You know, I didn't have a Tebow, and fuck using the lance. <laughs> Alright, so that's going to summarize the entire list. Bosses and monsters alike, okay? That is everything. That is the tier list done. Just to summarize for anyone watching back in the video, you can come to this point in the video, which is where, yeah. You, you can come to this point in the video when I upload it. Uh, summarizing basically... That when it comes to S tier, nothing is more prestigious in Slayer other than Cows and Jad. If you uh, have any qualms with that, you can get fucked. A tier is basically shit you should be doing all the time. You never want to block these. You want to do these tasks when you get them. If you want to go into more detail on them, uh, look back in the stream or in the video to where I was talking about them and you'll understand why you'll fucking learn something. B tier, you should always do as well. But don't hesitate to block if you got the points. Or, sorry, skip if you got the points. That's totally fine to do. Um, C tier is questionable. C tier is basically if you can't be fucked, which a lot of the time you probably can't. Abyss of Demons are shit. Adamant Dragons are shit. Blue Dragons, not including Vorkarf, shit. Lizard Men, Shamans are the worst fucking thing in the world. C tier, you can probably start looking at skipping a lot more if you don't want to do them. 
D tier, this is the sort of shit that you would do. But if you've only got 30 points left, you don't want to skip because you can get something worse. So these are the tasks that you have to stick out at low points because you just don't want to skip them, alright? But you don't want to block them either because there's a lot worse, a lot of worse tasks out there which is below here. E is more than likely to skip all the time if you've got the points. If you have the points, or if you can avoid it at all costs, fucking do it, alright? And F tier is block. If it's in the F tier, Black Demons are here. If you haven't done Monkey Madness 2 because you're fucking horse shit, which let's be honest, most of you are, you block your fucking Black Demons. Um, everything else here, pretty much block it straight away. The Jad down here is actually just Tazar itself, not actually Jad himself. So basically if you choose that, you're a fucking idiot. Um, and this long-nosed cunt here, if you get that, don't even block it. Don't waste your time blocking it. Just go to a low Slay Master and reset your fucking Slayer streak because that is just fucking disgusting. That's the worst fucking thing we've ever seen. Spiritual creatures are for fucking idiots. Yeah, anything down here is horseshit. Block it immediately. No debate. I don't care what you have to say. Black Demons in Nightmare Zone and Skatizo. Uh, yeah, if you're doing Black Demons in Nightmare Zone, you kind of just need a bullet. Um, but yeah, you do your Skatizo and your Black Demons or your Greater Demons, and then you either skip the task or uh, yeah, you stick it out like a fucking idiot. But Black Demons are not worth your time at all. Um, I'm going to upload a picture of this image to the Discord. I'll make a chat in the Discord for all the tier lists I've done so far. So this will be number four. Um, and next week's Discord, uh, next week's, sorry, tier list will be, I don't know what the fuck it is yet, but Jay's going to make us something juicy. If you have any uh, ideas of what you want for a tier list, can be anything, I don't care what it is, um, hit up Jay or myself with ideas and we can get it all sorted. Thank you for watching the, the tier list stream. It's, that's pretty much it. That's the content there. You guys happy with it? Chat? Technically Dragon Hunt Crossbow is 30% uh, then Blowpipe out uh, does T-Bone speed for what? The um... Hydra? S to F cock size I feel it, well, I mean isn't just the bigger the better? Just trying to log into my hardcore, sorry. Sure, I did that wrong password. Cows to Jed, pretty much is S tier. How do uh, so do cows all the way out to Jed? Yeah, pretty much.